Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available Live Breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes can either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Oh Your breaker God. for tonight's oh show. Oh my God. Likes long walks on the beach, candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey, None are better than this one, the best quarterback in the world, though, there Patrick is. Mahomes! Yes. And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chad. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. Common and Chef here with Robbie Lopez. Ready for an awesome Monday night tonight. A lot of awesome names. Not a lot of boxes left in a bunch of series. The Diamond Helmets, for example. 11 boxes left. Six total headliners left, including a Steve Young rip speed flex. Mm -hmm. that, bo that boy is nasty. Tony Gonzalez, not a guy we often get in the break room. Maybe the best tight end ever. A Slate Warren Sap authentic. A Bo Jackson authentic. Six and 11 chance total, counting DeAndre Johnson and Aiden Hutchinson secondary headliners. Uh, the Vault Break, we got the Bo Jackson Hydro Speed Flex, it's incredible. Uh, we got the uh, Euler Dual Sign, we got the Steven Jackson, the AJ Brown, got a lot of big names left, uh, only 13 boxes left in the Vault, 11 boxes left in the Diamond. The College, we got 5 headliners in 13 boxes, including a Josh Allen Wyoming Helmet, which is one we used to have a lot in the College Series, it's been a few months at least since we've seen that. That's a good name for sure, no doubt about it. Minis and jerseys have some good names. It is the last night of the one and four, Robbie. So we are taking the one and four off the website after tonight. It's the last show for it. We got seven boxes left, two headliners left. Hakeem Olajuwon and Gary Payton. It is going to be the automatic wheel spin. Uh, so that'll be our chase for tonight. Last chance at the one and four, guys, should you guys want to get in. I can't wait to get started, Robbie. How are you doing on this awesome Monday night? I'm doing fantastic. Great to be back in the break room. Yes. After a little short um, weekend off. It's awesome. It's good. It's always good. It's to always have fun to be in here. Beautiful weather outside. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always tell the guys when the weather gets nice, you can actually walk and watch our show, play our breaks. You can do a little bit of everything. You ever go on a walk and you're like, this is good for my body, it's good for my soul, but I'm a little bit bored on the walk. Pop on the ultimate autographs, and you can do yeah. a little bit of both, Robbie. Yeah, it's I do it a great way. What I do is I take my nephews to the ballpark or to the little park by the neighborhood. Yeah. I just sit there and watch you guys right there while I watch my nephews. There you go. Play, play for a few hours, you know. The best of both worlds. It, exactly. All right, let's get the show started. No pre-fills, but we are literally on the doorstep of several breaks. One to go on that college double box in particular. 
I don't need to spin for the chase wheel spin because it's the one in four. But I will spin the wheel for our dice roll, though, Robbie. Yes, you will. Uh, looking for six or higher on our dice roll here. Uh, let's see. We got six and a three, nine on the dice roll. Nine. Love that number. It's That's my number. lucky number. It is your lucky number. It is my lucky number. My lucky number is eight. Eight? Yeah, Stevens is seven. Okay. Collins is 14. Okay. I don't know about the other guys yet. Still got to learn. Is eight. That's his birthday. Good. Seven, eight. Good. Oh, it's a July birthday. Yeah. Me too. July 30th, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, July power. That's what we always say here. Uh, so I guess I'll take them on a quick top to bottom rundown, a tour of the break page while we wait up to knock out this last college double box sure, break. What's in that college, though? Uh, so we'll start with the diamonds, which is first. You know, okay. always rightfully so should be first. This awesome uh, authentic Ooh. series, all authentics in here, Robbie. No reps, no reps of any kind, only full size authentic. Uh, we have that six late authentic Warren Sap, mm -hmm. one of the best defensive tackles ever. Uh, the first Buccaneer slate I've seen in our break room. These are new helmets as of 2024. Uh, we got arguably the best tight end of all time, Tony Gonzalez on the Chiefs Lunar Authentic. He certainly holds all the regular season records at the moment, uh, Tony G does. Uh, Bo Jackson, one of the best athletes ever. This is a very popular guy in the break room. Everybody's going to have at least one Bo Jackson. you got to have at least one in your collection. Everybody loves Bo. I don't. You don't love Bo? Or well, you don't I have do, one in your collection? I don't have him in my collection. Ah, so <laughs> you can't play this break, though, Robbie. No, I can't. You cannot play this one, I unfortunately. <laughs> and then probably the biggest helmet left uh, is this Rip Speed Flex Steve Young, the best lefty quarterback of all time. Again, typically these custom Speed Flexes, the value on these differs a lot online, but I always say comfortably feel to say they're worth $1,000 or more, especially on a quarterback, a Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, the best lefty of all time, former MVP, Super Bowl MVP, uh, beautiful lid there on Steve Young in the Diamonds. We have a couple of secondary headliners left. That thing uh, is also an amp on the bottom. Yep. And then regular on the top. That's it's incredible. That's one thing I like about that 49ers thing. It, it's absolutely beautiful. It's slick. Uh, we do have the Andre Johnson and the Aiden Hutchinson out there as well. Uh, so we got ourselves a 6 in 11 chance. At a headliner in the diamond helmets. That is better than 50%. Uh, that is something I always love. Wow, William. Well, congratulations to the baby. I'm not sure what country it's from, uh, but there you go. Uh, we never wish ill upon anybody in this break room, at least, Robbie. Uh, you got to laugh out of Robbie, William. So there you go with that comment. Ah, uh, we got the vault break. This is the first comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I can understand. Look, it's, it's good. I can it's good. This is like 10, 15 comments in, but this is our first comment. That's how we start so we the, show. the show. With That's how we start the show. Uh, all right, the vault has 13 boxes left, five headliners left. Uh, look at this Bo Jackson Hydro wow. Speed Flex. Wow. Uh, one of the best athletes. Of all time. Is that triple color? Or tri uh, triple color? Uh, yes, I believe it's actually oh, three-tone wow. lid. It's got all the military uh, branches on there. Uh, wow. So, including the M Marine Corps as well, Robbie. And that is nice. Yeah, that's cool. So, it's got the Vegas sticker. I know it had the Al for Al Davis. Wow. It's got the visor. Uh, this helmet is nuts. Only 13 boxes left in the vault. Bo Jackson is the... Uh, big draw left. One vault key. We have the secondary headliner, Frank Gore, as well. And then we have several other photo headliners still uh, still in here. A.J. Brown on the Eagle Authentic, the Flash. Uh, one of the best wideouts in the league. Top five in the league in receiving yards, back-to-back -back seasons. Uh, we have the dual-signed Oro Campbell and Warren Moon. As I always say, everybody's going to have at least one oiler in their PC uh, that is the two best Oiler players of all time. Uh, definitely worth a get. Uh, we Jesus that Bo Jackson is so good, says Building with Vibes. Yes, come and get Bo Jackson. Only 13 boxes left in the vault. Speaking of Jackson, there's a Steven Jackson uh, with his career rushing yard inscription on there. More than 11,000 on that Ram full-size helmet. So vault doubles, five to go. Diamond doubles, three to go. 
We still got one spot left in the college. Now, we do the five Power Five conferences as of this year. Uh, you know, we'll see how it looks in the fall. Uh, once July, August kick around, we'll update this. Uh, but at the current moment, it's the current college conferences. And I got to say that everything else spot is great. It's the five conferences plus everything else, which is independent, which is FCS, D2, D3, so forth. But you may not believe this, guys. But for what's the double? 146 bucks. You get the Josh Allen Wyoming Authentic. You pair with the Jerome Bettis Notre Dame Authentic. We're looking at more than $1,000 value for just 146 bucks. You can also double up with Michael Irvin and Ray Lewis. Uh, those are full-size authentics for the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, only 14 boxes left in the college. Four photoed headliners plus the secondary headliner, DeAndre Hopkins, which is also an ACC double up with the Lewis and the Irvin. Vault single with that sick Bo Jackson still out there. Seven spots to go. The college single, six to go. Diamond single, seven to go. Again, the one in four is the automatic wheel spin tonight. A uh, one in four chance to win the break. Uh, also, a one in four chance to win the wheel spin if we do just one, Robbie. Seven boxes left. Hakeem Olajuwon basketball, former MVP, finals MVP, NBA champion twice in the 90s. And we have Gary Payton, the glove. Seven boxes left, two headliners left. And some awesome, awesome other names as well. You get basketball, you're going home with two basketballs. Possibly. Yeah, Possibly. If, it, if it happens, it'd be nice. That's They're up there as two balls up there. Uh, how, do, how do which ones work building with vibes? So the one in four, uh, you have the basketball spot, uh, the football spot, you have the baseball spot, the everything else spot. So it's a four spot break. Uh, so there's 10 football items, 10 baseball, 10 basketball, and 10 everything else. The everything else could be hockey, could be soccer, could be entertainment, could be NASCAR, could be wrestling, basically anything that's not baseball, football, or basketball. Yep. So in theory, you have a one in four chance. Now, we had a Will Anderson authentic as a filler hit the other day in this. So there's actually probably like a football item that's probably worth more than the two basketballs still in there. So always fun stuff in the one and four. Oh, yeah. That's a good break for unique items. Five hidden gems. Oh, yeah. Five hidden gems. Ooh, ooh, um, mini helmets, 10 to go. We got four headliners left. Uh, we have the photo names, Hall of Fame running back Earl Campbell, uh, one of three guys with 1,000 rush yards and 1,000 receiving yards in the same season, Roger Craig. We got tight end TJ Hawkinson and CJ2K is the secondary name, uh, four and 10 chance in the mini helmets. Don't forget Roger Craig. Yeah, I just said him, Roger Craig. Oh, yeah. You... Yeah. I didn't hear it. I, That's I heard, okay. I heard you say uh, CJ2. Oh, no, I got Roger Craig. Okay. No, I won't forget him. He's <laughs> a beast. Uh, we got the jerseys, Robbie. We're down to 19 jerseys left. Oh, yeah. Seven headliners left. Ooh. Four photoed AJ Green. Uh, one of the best tight ends ever, Antonio Gates. We got Eric Dickerson, single season rushing record holder. Uh, our guy, the Bear, great yeah, linebacker, the Brian Erlacher. Nice. Right? Uh, we do have Robert Mathis, Joe Theismann, and Drew Bledsoe. Secondary headliners left with those. It's a 7 and 19 chance. Uh, so let's get it, guys. Uh, let's make these moves. We are 1 to go in the college. 3 to go in the diamonds. What's up, Lucky's Locks? Mahomes and Allen are both out in the 1 and 4. Uh, but there's always good things in there. Ron Casey knows better than most. Uh, so... Probably the first order of business is either the diamond double or the college double, Robbie. Uh, drop this diamond double, Lincoln. Three spots to go. All full-size authentics. Uh, drop in the college double. One spot to go. Mix of full-size authentics and reps, but all the headliners left are authentic. Uh, so uh, let's make it happen, guys. Uh, five to go on that vault double. I'll drop that, Lincoln, as well. That one should happen relatively soon Robbie oh, yeah. uh, and I do have a question for you oh you do and a question for the chat both so uh, you and or the chat can participate what is one item in the break room you currently most want to see in person we know the stuff in person always looks better than the stream what are you looking at that you want to see in person in person 
has to be in the vault. That Bo Jackson. The Bo Jackson? STS. Man, that thing is fully loaded. I can't wait to see it right here in front of my eyes. And we will almost for sure see this tonight. Uh, you know, with only 13 boxes left, I can't imagine we don't see this one tonight. Uh, so Mahomes and the A.J. Brown are sick. Those did get pulled, building with vibes. Uh, the Bo Jackson's the one Robbie wants to see. The one I most want to see, Robbie, for me personally, is the Steve Young. Uh, I'm a quarterback lover. Ooh. Number eight's my favorite number. I love lefty quarterbacks. Uh, I've read Steve Young's book. I think he's one of the most underappreciated quarterbacks ever. I love that helmet. That's the one I most want to see. Uh, but obviously, I agree with you, Bo Jackson. It's up there as well. An awesome, awesome lid. And then I want to see the Josh Allen Wyoming lid. I mean, come on. Yeah, that too. How many Wyoming lids are in the break room? Only two guys ever I've pulled out of Wyoming. Josh Allen and Jay Novacek. But it has been a hot minute since I saw uh, Allen in the college. Uh, so, yeah, the Steve Young is sick. Uh, Chris says the Bo Jackson would be an awesome hit. Uh, Bo Jackson says Lucky Locks. Look, there it is. I'm buying in. There we go. Uh, and, and by the way, we do have Bo Jackson in the diamond helmets too. But the oh, one yeah. obviously in the vault is just a wee bit cooler. Uh, we do have the vault and the diamonds up as a single and a double box break. Uh, both of those are options for you guys. Uh, probably the doubles I have noticed have been considerably hotter in the break room. Uh, so, what's the difference between what building with vibes? So, we have a regular Bo Jackson Authentic in the diamond helmets. The one in the vault is cooler because it's a Hydro Speed Flex. The Speed Flexes are worth more. They look cooler. Uh, I do think, though, the diamonds have the Steve Young. So, you can get the Steve Young and a Bo Jackson in the diamonds. So, uh, yeah, the vault one is definitely better. No doubt about it. Uh, if you're looking for Bo Jackson, I would head to the oh, yeah. vault. Uh, oh, yeah. But I'm just saying, if you're looking for Steve Young, you can still get a Bo Jackson as a secondary prize in the Diamonds. Uh, Bo Nose is everywhere right now, right? In the Diamonds and the vault. We should see him in both tonight. Uh, Apollo St. Clair, one in four is the chase tonight. Uh, we've made that the auto chase wheel spin since it's the last night of the one in four. We'll have one and four back probably later this week, Robbie. Uh, but uh, we'll have a fresh one and four. We're not pairing anything. It's going to be a new 40 box series with fresh headliners. If you want this current one and four, though, tonight's the last night to get in that one and four. If you're a big Rocket fan for Kim Olajuwon, now's the time, guys. So, Robbie, realistically, I would love to knock out all seven boxes. But let's be honest. We'll probably do one or two one and fours, right? Which means we'll have, you know, four to eight names in that chase wheel spin. Let's just say we do just one one in four break. You hop in with the one in four, you'd have a one in four chance at the item, one in four chance at the wheel spin. So some good possibilities as well. So, well, building with vibes. The good news is that uh, every division has good names left in it. Uh, obviously, in the vault, you want to get the AFC West for Bo Jackson. Uh, but there's some other good options. For example, Robbie, the NFC East could get you an A.J. Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, the AFC South can get you a dual-signed Earl Campbell and Warren Moon Authentic. The NFC West in a double box break could get you two wins, potentially. A Steven Jackson full-size helmet. And then the secondary headliner, Frank Gore. And there's obviously other names in there, too. Uh, as Robbie, you just called them hidden gems. That's a good way to put it. Oh, yeah. Or the and more section, especially in the big series, like the vault, like the diamonds. The and more section in the jerseys, I'll be honest, you might get a filler, but you get a hit in the and more section of the diamonds or the vault, you're going to know who it is. Oh, yeah. It's either going to be a modern superstar, a Hall of Famer, or even like a classic, like, cult icon. Like Bo Jackson, for example. Believe it or not, he's not a Hall of Famer. At least in the NFL, he's a college football Hall of Famer. Uh, but he's a, an icon, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody knows who Bo Jackson is. Uh, so these series, I say this a lot, Robbie, but rightfully so. You get a filler hit in the diamonds or the vault, it's worth more than a headliner in the jerseys or minis. Oh, yeah. The worst things in here are worth more than the best things 
in the jerseys and minis. Why is that? Because A, the names are bigger, and B, a full-size authentic helmet is worth considerably more than a mini helmet or a custom jersey. Definitely. So, uh, things to keep in mind, folks. Things we're always looking for value. Yes, we're we are. We're always looking for value. Yes, we are. So, we're looking for that first break. Uh, the first break that really gets us off and running. You know, a lot of good options. Some of the best breaks in the room, the vault, the diamonds, the one in four. Uh, probably my three personal favorite breaks, Robbie. And they're all in here at once. Not to mention the college as well. One of my favorites, too. So, an abundance of options. Come and get them, guys. Come and get them. Uh, what's your squad building with vibes? That's a guy I don't recognize. Uh, what squad do you rock and roll with? And which one is Ron Casey get into? Uh, I know Pat Rich is in here. What's up, Pat Rich? Uh, Pat got a couple spots in that diamond double. Who? Pat Rich. Oh, I know, but you said Ron Casey. Ron Casey. I haven't seen him. He said he's jumping in. I haven't seen him jump in yet. Oh, yeah. Ron, Ron. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I thought um, you were asking if he was already in. I'm like, no, he has not jumped in, but I'm waiting for him. I do see Gisela Luster in here. Yeah. I see Pat Rich. You know what Gisela and Pat Rich want? You know probably their squad? Both. Probably both. Well, they probably want that as well. But they're oh, Niner oh, fans. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Steve Young. They want Steve Young. They want Steve Young. Gisela's a huge Niner fan. Uh, we got Pat Rich is a huge Niner That's fan. Right. Uh, they want those, no doubt. Uh, so that makes sense why both are in that diamond double box uh, looking for a little bit of Steve Young in the break room. Steve Young, Robbie, had more career passing touchdowns uh, to Jerry Rice than Joe Montana did. Really? Isn't that crazy to think about, right? Uh, one of the best quarterbacks ever, Steve Young. Uh, when he retired, he was first in passer rating. You look up at the all-time passer rating leaders, uh, he was ahead of everybody in his era. I mean, seven Pro Bowls. Yeah, uh, he, he was a beast. There's Ron Kazi. And Ron's in. What are you getting into? The double box bolt. All right, let's go, Ron. So now three to go. Three to go in that vault double box. Steve Young led the NFL in pass rating six times, Robbie, and five times in completion percentage, four times in passing touchdowns. I think he's not appreciated enough because I think he had one Super Bowl, but had he been the quarterback, he had three technically, but one is the starter. Had he been the quarterback of those 80s, Niners teams, I'm sure they did have more Super Bowls as well. The great Steve Young. Uh, jerseys left. Building with vibes include A.J. Green, Antonio Gates, Eric Dickerson, Brian Urlacher. And then we have three secondary headliners left. Robert Mathis, Joe Theismann, and Drew Bledsoe in that jersey break. And Ron's in that vault double, which now has three left. So what's going to fill up first, Robbie? These are the questions. We got the college double, one to go. We got the diamond double, two to go. We got the vault double, three to go. And we have the jersey single, four to go, and both one and four is four to go. What does that mean? That means every break we offer right now has, except for the mini helmets, has something that is either one away, two away, three away, or four away. Uh, we do have personals real quick as well, guys. Uh, yes, do I do have the mystery box personal page as well, uh, where you can get yourself a guaranteed win. For example, the rep helmets cost three forty four ninety nine. Uh, we have headliners like Aiden Hutchinson, Debo Samuel, Emmett Smith, Marshall Falk, Curtis Martin, Devontae Adams, and Jamal Charles. Uh, you get one of these personals, you get the guaranteed win uh, no matter what. Uh, we do have as well the headliner package on there. I think we just sold out a headliner packages. We'll get those up there soon. But typically, one mini, one jersey, one rep, one authentic. We do have the jerseys, and we have the minis on there. Speaking of which, Robbie, uh, we do have a personal in the jerseys. So, Stephen Lenhart, are you out there, Stephen? Uh, we are more than happy to knock out your jersey personal. If you're not out there, we'll definitely rip this uh, at some point tonight, Robbie. I'll give him a little bit of time to get in here just in case, but otherwise, Steven, uh, that jersey personal will happen uh, here tonight. Maybe we'll do uh, these breaks that are one, two, three away, Robbie, and then when we're done with those breaks, we'll probably knock out the jersey personal afterwards. 
Uh, Adam says, let's close this college double box. Yeah, it's been sitting at once what? since the beginning of the show. Yeah, and I don't know weird. why. Why is this sitting, guys? Why is this... One away. Josh Allen and Jerome Bettis. They're yeah. the everything else section, Robbie. You get a Josh Allen college lid or Jerome Bettis Notre Dame authentic. Those two lids combined together, we're looking at more than $500 value. Should you hit both? Uh, more than $1,000 value, excuse me. Uh, that's 146 bucks a spot, Robbie. Yes. So for one, what's more, 146 bucks or 1000 bucks? I would say 1000 1000 is more. 1000 is more. You can also double up in the ACC, Ray Lewis, Michael Irvin. Yeah. Uh, so uh, one in six chance to win in the college, a little bit better odds uh, than the other series. Uh, one in eight for the NFL, one in six for the college. We have the five power conferences as of this year. And then we have the everything else section, which is everything that's not a power five. So Big Ten, Big 12, ACC, Pac-12, SEC, then we have the everything else section in the college. A lot of unique lids in here. We've seen Johnny Menzel. We've seen Matt Leiner, Jameis Winston, Marcus Mariota. Uh, these guys that were all-time great college players. Uh, just be filler hits here in the red shirt, oh full-size college helmet mixer. Full-size and authentic mixer only, right? Did we knock that out, Robbie? No. I got in the jersey. All right, jersey is now three to go. So what's gonna what's gonna happen first? We got 25 folks watching. Uh, I imagine there's got to be at least two or three of these guys uh, looking to party here in the break room as well. As I always say, turn those eyeballs into orders. No. How about those Oreos, Robbie? Up oh. three to one on the Twins. Wow. I bet the Oreos money line this afternoon go O's. Mm -hmm. Did? I do have the Yankees against the Blue Jays. That is 0-0 in the second inning. Okay. So baseball, definitely uh, the big sport this afternoon. I know we'll have some NBA playing games tomorrow as well. Uh, so a lot of good stuff in sports. Cubs D-backs tonight, Robbie. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a good one to track. Royals and White Sox. Royals first in the Central. White Sox last in the Central. So some good sports going on tonight. Uh, no doubt about that. I know Lucky's Locks has some bets, I'm sure. Uh, Astros and Braves, a big powerhouse matchup as well on the diamond tonight. So who's knocking out these spots here? Uh, what are we seeing first, Robbie? I I'm a little... See, I really like the diamonds personally, Robbie, because I, yep. I know the vault and the college are sick, uh, but I'm definitely on the diamonds because for me, I like seeing stuff I haven't seen in the break room. I've never seen the Steve Young rip speed flex in our break room before. This one exactly like this one. Uh, I'm not saying it's a one of one. There's probably more like this, but there's not many. I've never seen this helmet come out in our break room. I've also never seen a Buccaneer slate like Warren Sapp. No, that's my first time seeing it. I know sometimes in the diamonds, some of these names we see a lot. A guy we almost never see in the diamonds is Tony Gonzalez. Uh, he's statistically the best tight end ever, Tony G. Uh, so some stuff in there that we don't see often. A Slade authentic like Warren Sapp. Uh, Tony Gonzalez authentic. A rip speed flex, Steve Young. Uh, we do have the Bo Jackson still in here as well. A lot of good stuff. Uh, so Lucky's Locks has the Rays, Padres, and Nola under 19 and a half recorded outs. Rays already hit, and Nola's on pace to go. Out in the sixth. There you go. Well, good luck, man. Uh, good luck to you, Ron. Hopefully you win, and you can use that money to hop in the breaks, right? Oh, yeah. Did we close something out, Robbie? The college, maybe? Uh, no. Paolo got two spots into the jersey. So it looks like we're now one away in the jersey. Well, I'm thinking the best breaks in the room, the diamonds, the college, and the vault, the three breaks we have at the moment that are the best. One in four might be the best, Robbie, but it's not necessarily in... The exact same spot as far as headliners left. But just like that, the jersey sneaking in one spot to go. All right, there we go. Uh, Lucky's Locks got those bets on lockdown. So actually, the jerseys are probably going to be first, Robbie. Yeah. All right, that Maybe. works. We'll see. Uh, Apollo St. Clair got in. What's up, Apollo? I love that name. Makes me think of that Olympian no Apollo St. Ono or whatever. 
The guy that did the speed skating? That's what it makes me think of. She let me get... You better hurry up, Building with Vibes. Oh, look, Lucky's Locks, it all depends on what, what you want. Uh, when the one in four is hot, Robbie, it's actually the hottest break in the room. Uh, it's just that uh, football names went. Uh, the Diamonds in the Vault have bigger football names right now, uh, but there's always fun hidden gems in the one in four, Robbie. There's stuff in that break that we're not going to see anywhere else. That is my personal favorite series, Robbie, the one in four. It's my favorite series to break. It's got the most unique stuff. It's got the best odds to win. Uh, but obviously, where's the biggest value? Authentic football helmets. Uh, and since those are gone in the one in four, the photo names at least, right now the best break for value is the diamonds. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. Speaking uh, of diamonds, we're down now to one spot in the diamonds double box. One spot there, one spot in the jerseys, and one spot in the college. College. It's off to the races, everybody. Get on those horses and fill those breaks. Oh, that's I like that. We're not too far away from the Kentucky Derby, Robbie. No, we're not. With the horse reference. Can't wait. Uh, so, May uh, 4th. May the 4th be with you. Then. Yes, Star Wars. You like Star Wars? Oh, big Star Wars. I'm man. big, too. My girlfriend and I are oh. watching them all. She hasn't seen, like, a lot of them, are Robbie. You serious? My girlfriend neither. Yeah. My well, we, we, watch we've watched the first four. We have four down, seven to go, Robbie. Oh. We went four, five, six, all one. All right. There we go, Troy. Troy's buying out that spot in the jerseys. So we're going to have the first jersey. Let's go. Jersey's the first. Lucky's Locks likes the baseball. Well, there you go, Lucky's Locks. I will say typically the one in four, they go after, uh, no doubt, the football stuff the best. Uh, but fantastic stuff. You told me Sierra Leone's the horse to bet, and I will probably bet on it because I like that name as well. Uh, love hurts. Love hurts. Love hurts. This isn't one of those sad love stories. It's a happy love story. Love in our football jerseys. Uh, so let me know on a box number, guys. First come, first serve for that jersey. One to go in the diamonds, one to go in the college. Knock, knock, knock it on that door, guys. I'm excited for that Kentucky Derby. I know. am too. Let's see what's... Uh... What's well, Sierra Leone, apparently, according to Ron Casey. Who? Sierra Leone, that's the horse to bet on. Sierra? Ooh. He was the Bluegrass Derby. He won the Bluegrass Derby, Robbie. Oh, looks like someone out on that. All right, James Powers, Scott Turner, Jody Greider, Joshua Tisdale, Adam Christensen, Apollo St. Clair, and Troy Sorensen. Let me know on a box number. We got Tisdale 50, which I'm guessing is Joshua Tisdale. Uh, Jay Tisdale uh, 50. That's got to be Josh. So 25, thank you, Josh. 25 going off the ticker in the jerseys. Troy was a little bit behind with 21. So we'll go with 25. That was first. And I'm guessing the diamond sold out, Robbie? Uh, yeah. Tro All right, uh, Apollo closing it out. All right, Apollo. Apollo Creed? What? Apollo St. Clair. Ah, okay. All right. We got nine clicks on the way for the jersey break. Box 25. We're going to get a second, Robbie. Then yep. we have the diamond double box to oh, follow. Wrong wrong one. All righty. Nine clicks. Scott Turner. Welcome, Scott. Let us know what team you like and how you heard about Ultimate Autographs. To be honest with you, I know they're not brand new, but Apollo and Joshua, even Troy, I don't know, I don't know anybody's team in this break. So uh, I know Jody Grider, I know, but otherwise these other guys... New guys to me, Robbie. Apollo, Joshua, Troy, Adam, James. Let me know your squads, guys. It's named after Apollo Creed. Perfect. Uh, gotta love the Rocky movies. Adam's a Niner fan. There we go, Adam. Uh, so Scott's got the NFC North. Apollo's got the NFC South here. Uh, Joshua, NFC East. Jody, NFC West. Troy's got the AFC North. We got Adam, AFC South. AFC East is James. And Apollo, you've got the AFC West. Box 25 of 35 here. Ooh, this is a... I can't believe this is a filler hit, Robbie. No. This is a great way to start the show. 
say anything. Uh, so. Great way to start the show. The first Heisman Trophy winner as a freshman. It is Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel on the Texas A&M jersey. Wow. One of the best college quarterbacks of all time in the pros. You know, it was not the same thing. Does not take away from his college career. He was a Brown in the pros, hence the AFC North. Troy Sorensen, congrats on the Johnny Football jersey. Very nice. Wow. The Johnny Football inscription. Beckett certified on that one. That is nice. I mean, that's worthy of a headliner yeah. in a jersey series. And it's just a filler, Robbie. A that's hidden cool. gem. That's, that's cool. A, that's a hidden gem, I could say. Right? It's a hidden gem. Uh, so Apollo's a Packer fan. Go Pack Go. Uh, so the Cowboy Cowboy headliners in the jerseys. There's no Cowboy headliner left in the jerseys. Uh, but there could definitely be some Cowboy fillers in the NFC East. Uh, congrats there, Troy, on Johnny Menzel. Lucky's Locks is uh, jealous. Uh, awesome jersey, he says. Absolutely. That would have been very nice. Uh, very nice, but it is Troy's win. Johnny Manziel, good start here in the break room. And Johnny Manziel, believe it or not, Robbie could be a filler in the college. Yes. Imagine getting that on a full-size authentic. Oh. That'd be sick. Nasty. Right? So we'll put the Johnny football away. Then we have the two boxes and the diamonds coming up. The diamond double box break in our authentic series. As I always say, double the boxes, double, double the, fun. the fun. And we are going to have fun in that break. 27 Manzel. Yeah, 27 yeah. bucks for a Manzel jersey. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He bought one ticket. That's right, Troy. Single spot snipe. Sometimes, Robbie, all it takes is one to win. In it to win it. And Troy definitely won the Johnny football. Good start in that jersey break. Let me get that one written up for Troy. And I thought we would see a Menzel was a filler in the college tonight. But well, you were talking about it. Yeah. And there it is. And we spoke it into existence, Robbie. Yes. Uh, Troy it, likes it, it. It's like Beetlejuice. You say its name three times and... Boom, it appears. Be careful. You already said it once, Robbie. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there because we're going to slip one. We don't need Beetle Juice. Oh, no, I said it, Robbie. We don't need that here. You sure you don't want Michael Keaton popping up? <laughs> I mean, Michael Keaton would be cool. Uh, Diamond Double coming up. Diamond Double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers. First come, first serve. Looking for Steve Young, Tony Gonzalez, Bo Jackson, Warren Sapp. We got the goodies in here. Uh, what is the last time you pulled a Tebow item? Uh, recently ago, uh, Lucky's Locks. It was a recent college series. Yeah. We also pulled the Tim Tebow filler hit in the one and four. I think the last time I pulled them was a one and four filler. Apollo wants 10 and 12. He was just ahead of Chris. Thank you, Apollo. Uh, so we'll go with 10 and 12, Robbie. 10 and 12. In the diamond. In the diamonds. Excellent. So 7 through 9. 10 and 12. And then 10. it'll be 11 here. 10, I was going to say, we don't have 12. 10 and 12. Yeah, we got all the guys. Troy says, I need that bow. Well, good news for you, Troy. We got bow in two places. We got the standard authentic. And then we got the Hydro Speed Flex. We got the normal authentic in the diamonds and the Hydro Speed Flex in the vault. And we got a whole bunch of him. The jersey would have been mine, but I took too long. Win this helmet, Troy. You got this, Troy. Yeah, never hesitate. That was the closer spot that won that last one. Uh, what do we always say, Robbie? He who hesitates, he or she who hesitates is lost. Yep. I always say, imagine being that last spot. You're thinking about getting in. You don't get in on time, and you miss out on a headliner. Yeah, exactly. Right? Lucky's Lock says, I will not break anywhere else. Only ultimate autographs. There we go, Ron. That is the attitude to have. The best break room out there. Ultimate autographs every single day, Robbie. 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, right here at Ultimate Autographs. Uh, nine clicks here, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, that's you can't be slow. 
to be honest with you, building with vibes, when you see the break is three or four spots away, do yourself a favor, get the yeah. spot now. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. the guys that wait till it's one or two away, they miss out. They do. So look at our break page. See what's three away, four away. Get the spots now before it's too late, Robbie. And I do always say, the night show is busy the whole time. It's fun the whole time. But once it gets to be about 7, 8 o'clock, that's where it heats up. We yeah. build up as the show goes. Uh, so get in those spots while you still can. Because these will go fast here tonight. Apollo's got the NFC North. Troy's got the NFC South. Gisela's got the NFC East. Pat Rich, Niner, Niner, 49er, looking for that Steve Young rip speed flex. Uh, Kyle's got the AFC North. Pat's got the AFC South. Chris, the AFC East. And Kyle's got the AFC West. Diamond double coming up. I'm going to start with 10. And we'll do 12 next year. I call this the messy box, the goat box. Won me a bunch of money this weekend. Uh, in football terms, the Eli Manning box, who is the goat slayer. Just ask Tom Brady. All right, box 10. What do we got in here? Hopefully a headliner. Oh, we got a headliner, all right, Robbie. <laughs> we got a headliner, arguably... The best tight end of all Whoa, time. There it is. It is Tony Gonzalez. Wow. Uh, the Lunar Authentic Tony G. AFC West Kyle Hummel. He's got the most yards. He's got the most catches for tight ends ever. Uh, he is an absolute beast, Tony Gonzalez. I mean, look, there's Gates. There's, of course, Gronkowski. There's Travis Kelsey. Uh, whether you put this guy one, two, three, he is without question on the Mount Rushmore of... Tight ends, love the red ink as well. The Lunar Authentic, uh, Kyle Hummel, two spots, already profiting with the Tony G. A little bit of headliner fire there yeah. on the all-time great Kansas City Chief. Nice. Now, this is a guy we don't often see in the break room. No, we don't. I know a lot of times these diamonds guys are like, well, we see that guy all the time. This guy, almost never. Almost never. A phenomenal hit right there. Very nice. I think this is the first time I'm seeing him on a Kansas City. I did see him on that though. Yeah, I've seen him on both, but yeah. this is definitely one we don't get often. Uh, so Troy's looking for Sap. We could get that as well. Ooh. Building with vibes, says Steve Young. That could happen. Excellent, says Kyle. Excellent indeed on Tony G. Ooh. And Lucky's Locks, as far as referrals go, I believe the referral program is you give 50 and they must spend the 100 on their first order. Now, let's just say he gives 50 to a random person, and they spend $400,000 with us in our break room. But if their first order was not 100 at least, he gets none for the referral. So the referral program is they must be spending $100 of their own in the first order. So it's they take your 50, 50 of their own, they spend 100 plus on their first order, you get the referral. So if you have any other questions about that, I would contact customer service. We don't personally see these referrals. That's a customer service and marketing team uh, thing, Lucky's Locks. Uh, so if you have any problems with that, go ahead and contact them. They'll take care of you. Uh, but there is a referral program. It's part of the Signature Club Rewards. I just explained it, Robbie. Uh, just real quick so you guys see. It's give 50, get a $30 gift card, and they spend 100 or more uh, for the first time. Now, they must have a different mailing and IP address than yourself. So you can't recommend someone else living in your same household. The reason why we have that, Robbie, is because people used to use the same IP address and make fake accounts to give themselves free money. So we had to lock down on that. Darn it. So you cannot refer your wife. Other I can't or, refer my mom. You can't refer your mom. Uh, but otherwise, that's how that works. He says, got it, brother. That's very transparent and clear. Perfect. Uh, you got it, Lucky's Locks. Let's see the second box here in the diamonds. Second box. Box 12. We had one headliner already. Is it back to back headliners here in the diamond helmets? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, Robbie. We're going back to yeah. back. Look at this one. It's Warren Sapp, the QB killer inscription. 
Uh, one of the best defensive tackles ever, former Defensive Player of the Year, part of the 1990s and 2000s All-Decade team, the sixth slate authentic NFC South, Troy Sorensen soars again. There he strikes Troy. again. He's got Warren Sapp. He said, let's go Sapp, and there it is. Yes. Uh, that is phenomenal right there, Troy Sorensen. Uh, love that hit, man. Uh, this guy, you know, other than Aaron Donald, he's the best D tackle ever. Uh, he yeah. was the GOAT prior to Aaron Donald. Wow. And it's the new Slate Authentic, one yeah, we haven't is. seen before. I know we've, we've seen it recently on the Rams, on the Char the Chargers, I think it was, but the Steelers, my first Bucks Slate here in the room, Warren Sapp. Wow. Look at that. This is nice. Something different, Robbie. It is. I know everyone's. It definitely is, but wow, I love the way these things look. Especially that ink, too. Man. Right, the red oh, ink on red there. Pops and everything. And then everyone's wow. talking about, let me see that Steve Young. They forget the other headliners out there, Robbie. Yep. Uh, that's what this is nice. Uh, Troy popped off. That's what I'm talking about, says Troy. Absolutely. Uh huh. Uh, one man sniping in here, Troy Sorensen. Uh, he is soaring to new heights here. Uh, he's in been been in two breaks, one spot in each. He's got two W's. Yes. Two awesome hits, Manzel, and of course now Warren Sapp on the slate authentic. Troy right. is on a hotter. Let's go. He's right. on a hot streak right now. So what is what should he do? Should he get in that vault break? Two spots to go. Two the spots, college yeah. break. One yep. spot to go. Now what can happen in the college double box, for example, Robbie? Well, believe it or not, he is already in that vault. He's okay. the last one so to we, purchase. He, he's got to get in the college then, Robbie. One spot to go. You get the everything else spot. You hit Josh Allen, Wyoming Authentic, and Jerome Bettis Authentic. Well, Chris Taff said enough of that. Closed out the vault double box. All right, Chris Taff, vault is coming up. Is it time for Bo Jackson? Hydro Speed Flex? I sure hope so. That'd be nice. He says, oh, I spend plenty. There we go, Troy. Uh, and Lucky's Lock says, no, Troy, stay out of that diamond double. I want the luck for myself. All right, we'll see. All right, so vault double is next, right, Robbie? Yep. Uh, two box numbers in the vault double box. Double the boxes, double the fun in here. Troy's going for a three-feet, says Building with Vibes. He is like the 1990s Bulls. They got two three-peats, and smack dab in the middle of their championships, Robbie, the Houston Rockets led by Hakeem Olajuwon, who's out there in that one and four. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, we got two and three, says Lucky's Locks. Ron Casey, he wants boxes two and three. All right, Ron. Two and three. Right. Uh, Robbie's getting that finalized, but boxes two and three should be a go in that vault. Troy, Troy, it's a heater, says Building with Vibes. Look at that. Troy even has his own personal cheering section right now. He does? That's not bad. Look at that. I know, I know Building with Vibes. I mean, Double his vibes. name says Vibes. He's sending out all the good vibes for Troy. Sending out those good vibes. All right. I love those good vibes. Uh, Dark Wolf 90, we did do a jersey break. Uh, Troy Sorensen got the Johnny Menzel. Uh, we also have a personal for Steven Lenhard, which we'll do after this vault double and the college double, Robbie. You got it. So Chris Cornwell, Kyle Hummel, Joshua Tisdale, Ron Casey, Troy Sorensen, and Chris Tact. Boxes two, two three in the vault. Two and three in the vault double box. As I always say, double the boxes, double the fun here in the U8 live break room. And Lucky's Lock says, forget this cheering section. I'm not rooting for you. I'm rooting for myself, says Ron Casey. Uh, he's like, you know, this guy can keep winning, but if I'm in the break, I want my own W, which, let's be honest, Robbie, I don't blame him. Uh, nine clicks. Chris Cornwell has that Bo Jackson spot. Uh, we got Kyle Hummel up top in the NFC North. NFC South is Chris Taft. Kyle Hummel, NFC East. Chris has the NFC West. Ron's got the AFC North. Troy's got the AFC South. Joshua AFC East and Chris in the AFC West. 
Double the boxes, double the fun. Let's get started with box two here. Two out of 35. Oh, right. oh I'll get it later then. Uh, that was the... I think Tony Gonzalez? Tony Gonzalez, yeah. 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 All right, let's see here. We got an authentic Robbie. Oh, no. Is it a headliner? Oh, say it ain't so. Let's take a peek here. Let's take a peek. I think this is a secondary headliner. Okay. Uh, how about it, Chris Taft? NFL's wow. third all-time leading rusher, Frank Gore. Frank Gore. Uh, nice look there for the Niners uh, for Chris Taft. Now let this sink in. There's only two guys with more rushing yards all time than Frank Gore. And their names are Emmett Smith and Walter Payton. He's keeping good company, right? Frank Gore is. I mean, the top five leading rushers of all time, you know, we have guys like Smith, uh, guys like Walter Payton, Barry Sanders, Adrian Peterson, and then we have Frank Gore. Yep. Uh, he's awesome. Uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, nice hit right there as, as a secondary name, Chris Taft. On the Frank Gore, one of the most iconic lids, the 49er standard. It just looks right. You know, yeah, gold, red, uh, definitely an awesome lid and an awesome player in Frank Gore. This guy liked to take a hit. Most career yeah. carries, uh, had more rush attempts than anyone ever. Hence, he took more hits than just about anyone ever. And he likes hits so much, Robbie, that he's like boxing these days. He's an amateur boxer right now. He, he is I don't know. interesting. I know. I, there are certain things that guys get after taking a lot of hits, and <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't have these things, but, you know, it has three letters in it, and he probably does. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, my God. Frank Gore. Good old Frank Gore. Yeah. Yeah, CTE. It's not candy <laughs> treats and Easter. It's something else. <laughs> not something I want to have personally. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, he the, he the, doesn't retire. He just goes on to fighting. Uh, building with vibes. The speed flex helmets are 100% the best. Uh, you'll hear me say this, Robbie, a lot. We're talking without autographs, without inscriptions, without the visors, without the custom de designs. Typically, a standard authentic is worth three to four hundred bucks, whereas the standard speed flex is worth six to seven hundred bucks. Now, you get some of those awesome bumpers, you get the chromes, we get the rips, we get the visors, the inscriptions, the big level autographs. A lot of speed flexes we offer, Robbie, are worth more than a thousand dollars. And there's not a single break that costs a thousand dollars to get into. So, something to think about, food for thought. Uh, on those speed flag helmets. They're fantastic. Still looking for one to go in the college double box. One to go in Wild. the college. Let's make it happen. Yes. Let's make it let's happen. Say let's make it happen, Captain. All right, full size helmet coming up. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> well, well, well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Uh, the double box breaks are all about two wins with one spot. Chris Taft. How about Steven Jackson? 11,400. Is that 38, 88 rushing yards? One of the best running backs ever. Followed Marshall Falk and followed him well, right? Uh, beautiful hit, Chris Taft. Two awesome running backs. One spot in the NFC West. Oh. Steven Jackson and Frank Gore. Steven Jackson. How about that? Rip. How about that? I love wow. this helmet too. The retro Ram helmet. This is fantastic. Think about all the great wow. Ram running backs. Marshall Falk, Eric Dickerson, Steven Jackson. Uh, so many legends. He is 18th all-time in rushing yards. Only 17 guys have more rush yards than Steven Jackson. History of the NFL. Former Pro Bowler and hopefully a future Hall of Famer. I mean, look. You get 11,438 rushing yards, you should be in the Hall of Fame, the great Steven Jackson. Frank Gore will definitely be in the Hall of Fame one day, uh, possibly on Steven Jackson. Chris Taft might have just gotten himself uh, two Hall of Fame running backs with one spot, Robbie. That's not bad. Not bad at all, Mr. Taft. Uh, so let's run this back. Let's get some more... Vaults out here. Let's see some heat. 
in the UA live break room, right? That's what I'm talking about, Robbie Lopez. I love the heat here at UA. And the college is still one to go, Robbie? We are still one to go in the college. Isn't that wild? Uh, knock, knock, knocking on that door. One spot left. Actually, you know what, Robbie? Got great news for you. Yeah. Sold out. Yeah. Sold out. College double box just sold out. I'll put the Steven Jackson lid away. And let's see if we have the Josh Allen soon. Uh, by the way, that vault single, Robbie. And we are now three to go in the vault single. Still looking for that beautiful Bo Jackson Hydro Speed Flex in our vault series. All right. Uh, let's make it happen, folks. Uh, let's make the magic happen. So, Robbie, you'll get that college one ready, right? Yeah, I'm getting them in right now. Perfect. College double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the college Ooh. double box. And then the vault single, Robbie. Now only one to go. Uh, we are closing on that vault single. Could it beat that Hydro Speed Flex Bo Jackson? Uh, Adam wants 13 and 32. Thank you, Adam. Well, let's get 13 and 32 off in the college. All right, so 13 is going off. And as is 32. And Robbie will get that finalized. Then we'll rock and roll here uh, with the college Dustin double box. Rose. Hey, Dustin Rose closed it out. What's up, Dustin? Fellow Chief fan, Dustin Rose, like myself. Hope all is good, Dustin. Troy Sorensen and Chris Cornwell back in the break room. Uh, they're both in that vault, looks like. So the vault single is closing in. The vault double already bought into... And we are now down to 11 vault boxes left, guys. The Bo Jackson Hydro Speed Flex still out there. And I'm surprised the next diamonds aren't bought into yet. That's a ripped Steve Young. Actually, one spot bought in, Robbie. Excuse me. One spot bought in that diamond double box. 13 and 32 coming up. Oreo's up 4-2. That bet's looking good. Uh, 13 to 32. Thank you, sir. We got Chris Cornwell. We got Kyle Hummel. In the college. Adam Hoffman, Paul Brady, and Dustin Rose. You said 13 and what? 13 and 32. Let's throw these guys in here and let's make some more magic happen, Robbie, right? I mean, we have not missed so far. Every single box has been really good. Uh, we have yet to miss in the breaks tonight, which is just the way we like it. So nine clicks. We got Chris Cornwell up top. Uh, Chris has the Big Ten. We got the Big 12 for Kyle Hummel. Dustin Rose has the ACC. Paul Brady's got the Pac-12. Uh, Adam Hoffman, the SEC. Kyle Hummel, everything else. Looking for Jerome Bettis and Josh Allen here with just one spot. We'll do 32 first, 13 to follow in our college break. All full-size helmets, either full-size authentic or full-size reps in here in our college break. All right, box 32. What do we got in here? We got a headliner, Robbie. NFL's all-time tackle leader, Ray Lewis on his college team. Uh, that's the ACC, Dustin Rose, Closer Magic. Yes, sir, Ray Lewis, the beautiful orange paint on that black Eclipse helmet. Love, love Ray Lewis's auto. Phenomenal player, that's fire, good hit, says Dark Wolf. Yes, sir. You say fire, here's the fire for Ray Lewis. 13 Pro Bowls, Robbie, two-time defensive player of the year, Super Bowl champion times two. A Super Bowl MVP. 
A guy had no weaknesses. You know, tackles, sacks, picks. He did everything. Uh, so, great in college as well. Uh, that's why he was a first-round pick uh, for the Ravens. Uh, played his entire career in Baltimore. And he was iconic, no doubt about it, the great Ray Lewis. So, I'll put that one on the desk for now. It's a Miami Hurricane kind of night today. We already pulled the Warren Sapp. Now it's Ray Lewis. And we still have a Michael Irvin out there in the college, by the way. I, I now have two of these helmets, says Dustin. Trades question mark. So J Dustin is putting this Ray Lewis on the trade block if somebody's interested. He was not allowed to leave the state, says William Maynard. Apparently not. Uh, Miami guy, uh, he's, he's a beast. Ray Lewis. Now, this is the one guy for me, him and Lawrence Taylor. Two guys, Robbie, personally, I would never want to be tackled by. I mean, no thank you, right? Oh, uh, these dudes are you. so powerful. Uh, I would not want to be tackled by them. Uh, that is safe to say. All right, one more to go here in our double box break. 13 is next here. 13 out of 35. And then I'm guessing the vault single probably coming up here soon, right? Yep. All right, what do we got in lucky number 13? It's lucky for somebody, right? Ooh, this is nice. Uh, so we got the Arizona State full-size rep helmet. It's... Jake Plummer, the former Pro Bowl quarterback for the Broncos. Uh, but we also have a salute to Pat Tillman. It's PT Pat Tillman, 42. Nice. Uh, of course, passed away fighting for our country. Former football player that wanted to serve in the military. Uh, so a very iconic hero. We got the PT 42 on the Arizona State lid. Love, love the shout out to Pat Tillman. Uh, that's the Pac-12 Paul Brady with Jake Plummer. So it's a quarterback, it's an awesome looking lid, and we have a salute to Pat Tillman. So three awesome things in one helmet. That's just the filler right there, Robbie, right? Oh, yeah. Love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, no doubt about it. And Pat Tillman, of course, played at Arizona State uh, from 94 to 97, then played with the Cardinals from 98 to 01, and then, of course, uh, served our country, uh, Pat Tillman did. See, Jake Plummer, let me double check his ears here, Robbie. Jake Plummer was a former college teammate of Pat Tillman's, looks like. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, awesome stuff right there. He was at Arizona State 93 to 96. What did I say? Pat Tillman was there. Yeah, they were teammates together. 1996 teammates together for Arizona State. So good job there, Paul Brady. And we do have our vault single coming up right after this, Robbie. So the vault is starting to heat up, and rightfully so, right? I mean, with the stuff left in there, uh, rightfully so heating up our awesome vault break. Yes. So we'll put this Jake Plummer away. And let's see if it's time for Bo Jackson, perhaps, right? I kind of like that Earl Campbell Warren Moon dual signed authentic as well, Robbie. Oh, yes. And we have a vault like key. A vault key still left. An AJ Brown authentic. And I'm sure some awesome filler hits as well. All right. We got Apollo St. Clair, Nicholas Hertel, uh, Chris Taft, Troy Sorensen, and Joshua Tisdale. Nicholas, let us know what squad you like and how you heard about Ultimate Autographs. Welcome to our break room, right? Vault, Welcome. Vault single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number, guys. As we are very much chasing that Bo Jackson in the vault break right now. Chris Taft, 116. 16. Thank you, Chris. 16 going off the ticker for the vault. 16. 
16. 16 it is. All right, is this going to be the Bo Jackson moment here? Because this will get us down the 10 vaults left, Robbie. So, obviously, with so few boxes left, it's going to happen. Heard about you from the radio, says Nick. There we go. Heard about radio. us from the radio. That's cool. We're on, the, we're on the radio now? I guess, Robbie. Look at that. Ultimate autographs is everywhere. We're growing. Probably somebody calling into some show saying, oh, my God. I got the sweet stuff at UA. Check it out. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so All we got... Right, so box 16 from the vault. Yep. Nine clicks. What's your squad, Nick? Uh, what's your squad, man? Chris Taft, by the way, has the Bo Jackson spot in the AFC West looking for that Hydro Speed Flex. Uh, Joshua Tisdale's got the NFC North. Troy Sorensen, the NFC South. Apollo St. Clair, the NFC East. Nicholas Hertel's got the NFC West, Chris Taft, AFC North, Troy Sorensen, AFC South, Chris Taft, AFC East, and he's got the AFC West. So box 16 is number 34 in box 16, the great Bo Jackson. Thank you, Robbie. 16 of 35 here in the vault. Good luck, guys. Let's see some heat. Not the bow, because it's a full-size rep helmet, looks like here, Robbie. Actually, I believe this is one of the retro authentics. I think it's either a VS4, or I think it's a VS4, this one in particular. It's the retro authentic. Uh, we got the Charger Hall of Fame quarterback, Dan Fouts. Hall of Fame 93. Uh, Chris Taft. Love this hit. Beckett certified on Dan Fouts. Uh, so, and he's an absolute icon, Dan Fouts was. A man well ahead of his time throwing for a bunch of yards. Before it was cool to do that, Robbie. Led the league in passing yards four times. Passing touchdowns twice. Six Pro Bowls. Former NFL Offensive Player of the Year. A Pro Football Hall of Famer. Uh, going home to Chris Taft. So the Dark Wolf says, very nice. Nice indeed. Nice indeed here on Dan Fouts. And that's a filler hit here, Robbie. It's not a headliner. Anytime you get a Hall of Fame quarterback as a filler hit, with this clean of an auto, you're doing pretty good. You are doing pretty darn good. Oh, wow. WNBA draft. Caitlin Clark yeah. went first overall, Robbie. Yeah, but Chicago uh, went with the uh, South Carolina. Center. Cardoso, yeah, she's tall. Wow. Everyone, everyone was saying uh, Reese. Really? Because the thing I saw saw Cardoso myself. Wow. I'm happy with Cardoso. She's a great I am rebounder. Too. I am too, but I was I'm really shocked that they didn't go. Well, they are on the clock at seven, so let's see. Maybe get both. We'll see. She yeah. Maybe. Washington's on the clock right now. So WNBA draft going on tonight. Caitlin Clark, as expected, going first overall in that draft. Uh, so let's jump right back into the vault, Robbie. Let's do it. Ten boxes left. Three headliners, including the Bo Jackson Hydro Speed Flex. I got the triple signed Raider yesterday. Says Dark Wolf. It's cool to see... Another one with Dan Fouts go. Are you a Charger fan, Dark Wolf? Because we got a lot of Justin Herbert, a lot of Damian Tomlinson. I'm guessing the triple signed perhaps was the Dan Fouts, Kellen Winslow, uh, and Charlie Joyner. Probably what he got in the breaks yesterday. Uh, three icons for the Chargers. So we'll put this Dan Fouts away. And let me take a peek at the break page, Robbie. Let me take a peek see where we are standing uh, so i'm seeing seven to go on that diamond double box again guys the steve young ripped speed flex still out there the bo jackson authentic still out there we still got aiden hutchinson and andre johnson uh lurking with only nine boxes left in the diamonds uh, we got four headliners left still in there so dark Wolf is a niner fan a giant fan lsu fan but always cool to get a legend. Well, if you're a Niner fan, 
I recommend getting the Diamonds. Uh, it's one of the best Niners of all time. The best lefty quarterback. Hall of Famer Steve Young on that rip speed flex. Still lurking in that Diamond Series. Seven to go on that double. Vault double, six to go. We got the A.J. Brown. The Earl Campbell Warren Moon dual signed authentic. And we got this sick gem. This Hydro Speed Flex Bo Jackson. It's got three tones to it. It honors all the military branches. It's got the Vegas sticker. Uh, it's got everything. One of the best athletes ever, Bo Jackson. Come and, that, come and get that helmet with only six spots to go on that double. The college break. We are down to just 12 boxes left in the college series. Uh, that includes Jerome Bettis Authentic, Josh Allen Authentic, Michael Irvin Authentic, uh, and we have the DeAndre Hopkins Secondary Headliner. Everyone's got to have one Notre Dame lid in their collection. The iconic gold that Bettis is sick. Josh Allen, obviously, in my opinion, the second best quarterback in the game. Get him on that college lid for Wyoming. Uh, we got seven to go in the vault single, six to go in the college single, six to go in the diamond single. Uh, last show of the one and four, only seven boxes left, including Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, Hall of Fame center, and then one of the best defensive players ever, the glove, Gary Payton. Eight to go in the minis, still looking for Hawkinson, Campbell, and Roger Craig. Seven to go in the jerseys, A.J. Green, Antonio Gates, Eric Dickerson, and Brian Erlach are all still left in here. So make those moves, guys. Let's make it happen. Uh, definitely think probably, Robbie, the next break will be the vault double, I'm guessing. Six to go. Uh, again, guys, we do have personals up on our mystery box tab uh, where you buy a mystery box, you get a guaranteed win. We got personals up in the reps. Big names like Hutchinson, Debo Samuel, Emmett Smith, Marshall Falk, Curtis Martin, Devontae Adams, and Jamal Charles. And you can get personals in the uh, jerseys as well. Uh, we have personals in the mini helmets. Uh, so those are all options for you folks. While we wait to knock out these breaks, Robbie, I think it's a good time to knock out that jersey personal real quick. So Stephen Lenhart will do your personal. Uh, I'm going to randomize the number for him uh, while we wait for that vault, which is now only four spots to go in our vault double box. So let's make it happen, folks. Well, let's make the magic happen. So Stephen, let us know if you're out here, sir. Stephen Lenhart. Otherwise, I'm sure you would want that Gates, that Dickerson, that Erlacher Jersey headliner still lurking in that series. Having a fun time tonight, Robbie. A lot of good pulls. A good news, a lot of good pulls still left. So, uh, Stephen Lenhardt, let me rock and roll here with your randomization. So jerseys are out of 30, I think, Robbie, right? 35, excuse me. Yeah, 35. 35 in the jerseys. All right, so we got 25 here. 25 in the jerseys. We just did 25. There's 24 and 26 left. So let me go ahead and put this in here on our randomizer. We'll do a randomization between 24 and 26. All right, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's do box 24 in the jerseys. This will be Steven's personal here. And then hopefully by the time this is done, Robbie, we'll be on to our vault break, right? Only four to go on that vault double, folks. Four to go. Let's see the vault single. Vault single box. That one is still seven to go. 
So 33 folks watching the Larry Bird number. Uh, box 24, Robbie, in those jerseys. In the jerseys? All right, box 24. We got another one. personal, looks yeah, like. Chris Cornwell just got a mini. All right, Chris, we can do your uh, personal after. Vote double, vote double. If you've got a mini number, Chris, let me know. Uh, we can knock out your personal right after this. All right. 24? 24 for the jersey personal. All right. I know this was earlier today. We didn't open it earlier, but we are going to open it now for Steven. All right, 24 of 35. Love hurts. Love. Ah, we had this guy earlier tonight. The NFL's third all-time leading rusher. Niner legend. This is Frank Warren, his college team. Ooh. It's the custom Miami Hurricane jersey. Nice. So that is very, very clean. War number three at Miami. So many good Miami backs. Clinton Portis, Willis McGahee, Frank Gore. Uh, uh, this is JSA certified uh, for you, Stephen Lenhart. So Frank Gore. And then Robbie, 19 on that many personal for Chris Cornwell. 19 now. Thank you, Chris. Okay. 19 going off the ticker and the minis. One eight one, one eight four. Frank Gore. All right. We'll put this Miami Hurricane jersey away. A lot of Miami guys today. Frank Gore times two. Ray Lewis. We got the Michael Urban still out there. We got some Miami Hurricanes here in the break room today. It, do it does make sense. One of the most iconic college programs ever, especially in the early 2000s and late 90s. I believe it was that... 01 national championship team considered by some as the best college team ever assembled. Box 19 for the mini personal Chris Cornwell. Wow. They just got it. Who, who the? She, Chicago yeah. got Reese anyway? Yeah. They got them both? Yeah, they got Angel they, Reese. They, they got size. Wow. All right, we got a mini helmet here. One of my favorite nicknames in the history of sports. It's the Green Lantern, Ooh. Wayne Krabat. That was his nickname, the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern? We're not talking Spider-Man. <laughs> We're talking Wayne Krabat, baby. Wow. Uh, Beckett certified forward possession receiver with the Jets. Chad Pennington to Wayne Krabat. First down, Jets. That's what they did. Uh, congrats, Chris Cornwell, on the Krabat mini. A little blast from the past here. Early 2000s guy. When I first grew up watching football, he was a very solid guy with the Jets. So, was that a signature club one, or did he pay for that one? That was a... Who was that, Chris Cornwell? Chris Cornwell. That was a membership one. Ah, so we got that one for free, technically. Yeah. What's up, Gabe Cook? You know what's up, Gabe? We're chasing... Uh, in the vault. That's what's up. Uh, three spots left in the vault. Double box. Only ten boxes left. And we still have the Campbell and Moon duel signed. AJ Brown. And then this bad boy right here. The one everybody wants to see. The three-tone Hydro Speed Flex. Uh, the great Bo Jackson. Got the military branches on the back. We got the Vegas sticker. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff on that helmet. That's what's up, uh, if you're wondering, Gabe. Uh, I would say this break is probably coming up next, Robbie. Only three loan spots left in here. I always say 15 boxes or, le or less left and a big name left we're chasing. This one right here, uh, only 10 boxes left. Certainly a big name left in this vault break. So let's see, refreshing here just to double check. Let's see together, Robbie. Three left. Four to go in that college double with the Bettis, with the Josh Allen still out there, uh, with the uh, beautiful Michael Irvin helmet as well. 
I guess, Robbie, real quick while I'm thinking about it, since I'm looking at the board. Yes. You could probably erase the Ray Lewis Authentic in the college. Oh, sorry, yeah, you did. You're good. And we got the Warren Sapp and the Diamonds as well. You're right, we did. Yeah, we pulled some headliners here. You're right. We uh, but we are still missing some of the biggest headliners. That was it, huh? Uh, here's a fresh slate authentic Warren Sapp. Uh, so come and get that, guys. So Gabe Cook. Is Gabe jumping in? Gabe is a Who Day guy. Who Day. Who are going to beat them Bengals, right? And that was it. That was it, sir. Yeah, Bo Jackson, you know, it's kind of crazy to think about this because, you know, he's not going to make the Football Hall of Fame or the Baseball Hall of Fame, but there are so many Hall of Famers out there, Robbie, that guys would rather have Bo Jackson over them. Now, what people say about Bo, had he not gotten hurt, he could be a Hall of Famer in two different Sports could be baseball Hall of Famer, could be football Hall of Famer. Bo Jackson, just those videos of him, you know, ripping the baseball bats over his knees. That dude was tough. I uh, really would have loved to see what he would have done without the injuries. Because in college, Heisman Trophy winner, a guy is phenomenal. Bo Jackson, I definitely want to see that Hydro Speed Flex uh, here sooner rather than later. Uh, those are the goals here, guys. Otherwise, Robbie, oh, I mean... Gabriel Cook's in here, okay. What is Gabe in? The diamonds or the, the vault? vault? Makes sense. What's up, Gabe? Vault. Four to go now. We're at the halfway mark in that vault double now, Buff, everybody. I actually see it two to go, Robbie. So you might have to double-check the orders. I'm seeing two to go in the vault double, which is even better. Oh, let me see. Now you probably missed somebody, but we'll get it straight now. I know Adam Hoffman got in there as well. Yeah, Adam got one. Adam Hoffman got Troy. one. Make that two spots left, says Gabe. Uh, which package, Gabe? That double box of the Authentics? I'm guessing it shipped. Uh, but I don't know because I don't do shipping. That could be a good question for our shipping department. How about those Oreos tonight? Up 7-2. to two. That's where my money's at tonight. Orioles up 7-2. Yankees are down, though. So I do have the Yankees winning as well. Looking at it as, as a split here on my bets tonight. So two to go. I'll drop that link in for the vault double box. Here you go, guys. Let's make it happen. Gabe, there's going to be some bangles coming up at our next Diamond Helmet Series. I will say, Gabe, you want to stay tuned for that. If you're a Hude guy, oh, uh, we got Taft. some good Bengals coming up. Missed. You missed Chris Taft? Yep. Do you want to put him in where his spot was? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I know these guys get particular on their spots, Robbie. No, no, no. I, get, I always go in order. So yeah. I go in order of what the number goes. So even if I miss one, if I overlook on one, yeah. I always go by where it's supposed to go. Let's just say, Gabe Cook, our next Diamond Helmet series, which, let's be honest, we have nine Diamond Helmets left, Robbie. Steve Young, Bo Jackson, Andre Johnson, Aiden Hutchinson, four headliners left. Let's just say, Gabe Cook, it's going to feature the two best current Bengal players right now in the NFL. Uh, you will be very, very pumped for it, to say the least. You can skip them, says Troy, right? <laughs> Troy wishes. Uh, Troy wishes. Two to go, guys, in that vault that will box. Gabe says, I'll go get that credit card ready. Good, buddy. Love to hear it. Got to be ready. Got to be ready to pounce in this break room. Chris. You never know what, what's going to happen when. Chris got in the single. You got to sort it out, Robbie? Yeah, we're all good. Two to go in that vault. Robbie has that same uh, that you guys have as well. And Chris Cornwall just got in the single for good measure. Yep. So there we go. I'm still salty that I missed the Chase helmet by one break. Well, good for you, Gabe. Jamar Chase. There'll be more Jamar Chase in our break room.
Oh, yeah. No doubt about that. No doubt about it. In fact, very soon, as I was just wink, wink, nudge, <laughs> nudge, <laughs> wink, hinting wink. to you, uh, Gay Cook. So, Robbie, who's going to be the closers here? I know we had Troy Sorensen earlier today. That's close interesting. Out a break and win. That's very interesting. Who's going to close? The little closer spots. Now, we got 31 folks watching, guys. Who wants to get in here and make some magic, right? Oh, uh, yes. Magic on that break page. Hydro Speed Flex. Typically, those Speed Flexes are worth more than a grand, Robbie. 168 bucks. I would say that Bo Jackson would be a hashtag steal, right? Oh, yeah. It would be, be a, a massive, steal. massive steal here in the break room. Here we go, Kyle Hummel. He is sprinkling his orders all over the place. Yes, he is. Which yes, involves is. closing out the vault Collins, double box. The vault, and then uh, made diamonds. Some progress on the diamonds. So, well, would you look at that, Kyle Hummel? Huh. He got in the college, the vault, and the diamonds. The three best breaks in the room right now. Kyle Hummel, money well spent, buddy. Uh, good job. So vault double is closed up. Vault double number two. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the vault. Who's going to get the Bo Jackson tonight? These are the $168 questions, Robbie. That's all it costs to get in here. $168. Bucks. You can get an authentic helmet worth north of $900 bucks, uh, in this series. The Bo Jackson Hydro Flex. If you're patient, obviously. You know, those go for different values online, but in the ballpark of that uh, $1,000, as I say. Troy says, me, 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 mom, me. I'm going to get the Bo Jackson. All right, he's calling a shot. Troy, uh, Troy is confident. Oh. He's putting that in the universe that he's getting the Bo Jackson. In my personal opinion, Robbie, the Bo Jackson is sick. I think I'd rather get the Steve Young for me personally. I love both guys, but I'm a quarterback guy. The Steve Young of the Diamonds is my personal favorite out there at the current moment. Uh, Chris Cornwell, Troy Sorensen, Chris Taft, Adam Hoffman, Gabriel Cook, and Kyle Hummel in here. He wants seven and 27 in the vault. Thank you, sir. Seven and 27. Actually, it looks like we don't have 27. So one, one more, Troy. Uh, one more. One, two, and the One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll have you double check that vault ticker for me, Robbie, uh, when you go back there as well. All right. I don't think we have 27. I think we have eight, though. Uh, eight works from Adam. While you're back there, if you want to just double check, Robbie, the 27's not left. And I'll have you give me the numbers we do have left. I want to make sure that ticker is 100% accurate. You got it, boss. Squad it. All right, what was the first one? Seven. Seven. And I don't think we have 27, but just double check just in case. We've got 28, 29, 30. 28 to 30. Okay. 32. And then 7, 8, 12, and 18. Okay, our ticker is right. Let's do 8. 7 and 8. 7 and 8. So we only have actually 28 to 30. That's 3. Yeah. 32. There's only going to be six left. Yep, six left. Oh, that's even that's even less. So I think there's one that we missed on that board then. So only be six left after this one. Even better. Even better. Oh, yeah, because I didn't take off the single probably. So then this would be... Yeah, it'll be six left. Yeah. Six boxes left in the vault. You did a double, right? Uh, we still got three headliners out there, guys. Thank you, Robbie. You're welcome. So it's currently a three and eight chance at a headliner, including that a sick uh, Hydroflex Bo Jackson. We have one more vault key left as well. So we are winding down in this awesome vault series. All right, we 
got five, six, seven, eight, and nine clicks. All right, Chris Taft, you've got the NFC North. Kyle Hummel's got the NFC South. Gabriel Cook's got the NFC East. Chris Taft, the NFC West. Troy Sorensen, you've got the AFC North. Chris Taft, AFC South. Kyle Hummel, AFC East. And Adam Hoffman in the Bo Jackson spot, AFC West, Robbie. We got box seven to get this double box kickstarted here in our vault series. We got an authentic. That's what we got. Ooh, we got, got an authentic. My favorite Tampa Bay Buccaneer of all time. It's the oh. A Train, Mike Allstock. Oh. Uh, one of the best fullbacks ever. Oh, that's he a was good gem. A three time Super Bowl champion inscription. Actually, excuse me, just the Super Bowl champion inscription. Uh, he won one Super Bowl with them, a six time Pro Bowler. Fantastic fullback. Had more than 900 rush yards as a fullback, Robbie. And every time in Madden, I had to draft this guy. He was always my fullback. NFC South, Kyle Hummel with the Mike Allstott Buccaneer Authentic. All right, Kyle. Very nice. Very, very nice on Mike Allstott. 1-8. Two one eight on that order number, and now Robbie, seven boxes left, three headliners left, including the Bo Jackson Hydro Flex. If it doesn't go here, it's going to go pretty fast, Robbie. Six left. Yeah, well, seven with the one I'm about to do. Oh. We have seven boxes left. Oh. Six can be purchased. Oh, yes. Saying three and That's seven true. chance. That's true. With the one I'm about to break here, which is my apologies. Oh, you're good. Almost fifty percent chance. You're still getting trying to use to your terminology. Well, that's okay, Robbie. <laughs> I always want to give the odds at the moment. The odds. Uh, Adam Hoffman at the moment has a one in seven chance at the Bo Jackson. All right. We got box eight coming up. My favorite number here, box eight. Is it time for Bo Nose on the Hydro Flex? This is probably the second best headliner left. We have the dual signed Warren Moon and Earl Campbell Euler Authentic. Wow. Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, Hall of Fame 06 inscription Warren Moon. He's still out uh, there, the folks. first African American quarterback inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame Warren Moon. Then we have Earl Campbell, Hall of Fame 91, a pro and a college football Hall of Famer, one of the best running backs of all time. Probably the two best Oilers ever, uh, both going home to Chris Taft. One helmet, two autographs, a nice headliner there, Warren Moon slash Earl Campbell. This is a clean lid. I absolutely love the Oiler lid. Uh, how about it, Chris Taft? I know we always say King of the North for him because he used to always win with the AFC North, the NFC North. Well, this time he's King of the South uh, with the Warren Moon and uh, Earl Campbell dual signed. So six boxes left in the Vault Series. Uh, that includes the uh, Bo Jackson Hydro Flex. The chase is the one and four. Last night of the one and four, Kyle Disler, we have made it the automatic chase item tonight uh we do have that sick hakeem olajuwon basketball and gary payton seven boxes left two headliners left the one in four is the chase tonight can you double check chris cornwell's order number which one he believes he was in vault double number two order number one eight one two oh seven Yes. Can you double check that one? In the Let's Volt see. double box? One eight one one eight one two oh seven. Yeah, he was in the Volt double box break number two. And we don't have him in here though. Which one? This list does not have him. How So I think we'll just shoot him a refund, uh, Robbie. Cause is this the wrong list? Hold on, let me see. Or is it the Bolt wrong double? break altogether? It 
copied somehow I copied the first one not the second one when I highlighted this I So it's entirely it. different names It was the first yeah for some for some reason it copied the first one That's the first break That list is the first break Okay, so you have just, it's the wrong list altogether. Yes, that's the first break. For some reason, when I pasted it into here, it pasted the first break again, not the second list. of. Okay, things. so probably none of these guys were, or most of them were not in there. No, no this whole list. is The whole again, list is wrong. The whole list is wrong. How it got, how it pasted the first list, I don't know. I highlighted the second list. Okay, so... So the first list, the second list is supposed to be Chris Cornwell all the way down to Kyle Hummel. Okay, so this is the wrong list is what you're telling me. And for the second Wait, involved double. Chris Cornwell. Oh, that's, that's the right list, but where's his name at? And why is his name not in here? Because the vault double number one is a different list. So I'm guessing you probably put in someone instead of him. You put in Chris Taft instead of Chris Cornwall, yeah. I'm guessing. How that happened, I don't know. Because Chris Taft is in there twice already. So Chris was supposed to be in this break, too. Yeah, and it did three times. See? What? Okay, so Chris Cornwall, we're going to go ahead and shoot you a refund, my friend. Uh, we'll look into the situation more, but go ahead and, and give him uh, his refund for that break spot. I think that's the best way to handle it. Uh, so, Robbie will shoot you a refund. And we'll look into it after the show as well, Chris. See what else we might be able to do for you. For now, we'll go ahead and shoot you that refund. Oh, hold on. He says, put me in the next one. Okay. All right, so just take one spot less and put him yeah. in the next one. Let me see. So, that's going to be the vault double box three. Here. Yep. And then put this at seven now. All right, we got you, Chris. Uh, You're the next one, brother. Cut that and paste that. All right, you see that, right? You see that, right? That's. Yep. He's in the first one. Okay, so Chris, you got the first spot in the next vault double, sir. So I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, you're good. I don't know what the hell happened. You're welcome, Chris. Not sure. You probably, honestly, you probably got the two Chris's confused. Uh, there's two Chris's that ball hard here in the room. Speaking of Chris, Chris Taft, con congrats on your dub, sir. I think the college might have sold out, Robbie. It did. Uh, it's, I was trying to find out where I left off at after that hiccup. Uh, okay, 19, 20, so 21, Adam Hoffman. No, it was the right list, Gabe, except for I think we had an extra spot for Chris Taft instead of uh, Chris Cornwell. So we're going we're gonna go ahead and put him in the next break. Otherwise, the list was... It was still good. It was accurate yeah. minus the Chris Little mishap. Uh, but we do have a free spot on the next break for Chris uh, Cornwell. So there you go. All right. And we have the college break did sell out. So Robbie will get that updated here. But the college double did sell out. College double number two. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers for the college double. First come, first serve on the box numbers. We got three to go in the vault single. And we got... Uh, six to go in the vault double box. Only six boxes left. The Bo Jackson Hydroflex still out there, guys. Come and get it. Ooh. Got decisions, man. I gotta think about this. You know what? I think I'll put the Ray Lewis away because we get him quite a bit in the break room. I like the dual signed. I'll put the Ray Lewis away for now. Although, let's be honest, the hit video is likely going to be the Steve Young and the Bo Jackson here tonight. So if you're in that college double box, let me know. Two box numbers, guys. 
We will rock and roll with that college break. And that's going to be Dustin Rose and Mark Stoner, Kyle Hummer, Troy, and Chris Cornwell. All right. Thank you, Robbie. Uh, Robbie will get that list over, and we will rock and roll with the college. Looks like the vault single is probably going to be next. Only three spots left. Imagine getting that Bo Jackson for $84. How does that sound? Almost too good to be true. It's worth more than 10 times that, Robbie. Yes. Almost too good to be true on the Bo Jackson. So if you are on that break, go ahead and drop those two numbers in, and we'll rock and roll here in our college double box. Number two already, yeah. Number I mean, two. Josh Allen, Jerome Bettis. Uh, definitely big names left to chase in that college break, guys. While you get that ready, Robbie, I'm going to go ahead and write up Kyle's Tony Gonzalez because that's one that I did not write up yet. Yes. How's everyone Do doing tonight, you. guys? Yeah, what's going on? Happy, uh, happy Monday, everybody. Happy 49 morning. folks watching. Let me know, guys, what you're betting on tonight, you know, what you want to see in the break room. What you're having for dinner, just in general, how's life? How was the weekend? Hopefully you had a nice weekend here in Chicago. The weather was beautiful. Had a nice little long walk with the dogs. Hopefully, guys, you had a great, great weekend. Uh, you know, April 15th, and it was finally warm, Robbie. I yes, love it. Yes, it was. It was absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, I was here Saturday afternoon, but got to enjoy the Saturday evening. Yeah, it was. I uh, took a nice little, uh, walk with my girlfriend. Good. Anyway. It was good. It was good, nice. good. Chris, Troy, Kyle, Mark, and Dustin. Two box numbers, guys. I'll give you 30 seconds here. If I don't have any numbers in 30 seconds, I will go to our famous wheel to the side. Only four to go on that diamond double. Let's see that Steve Young rip speed flex. What do you guys say? Uh, what do you guys say? So it looks like the college, we got boxes 1, 2, 8, 12, 15 through 17, 20, 25, 29, 31, and 35 left in our college break. Uh, Gabe got a spot in the jersey break as well. There you go, Gabe. All right, Robbie, I'm going to go to the wheel out of 35 in the college. Just kidding. Chris won. So, Chris, I think 18 is gone, my friend. 35 is there, though. I don't see 18 on the ticker. I see 15 to 17. Then I see 20. So, you are good with 35. I do need one more. Looks like 18 is not on that ticker at the moment. All right, 16 works. Thank you, Gabe. 16 and 35 in our college break. Chris, Troy, Kyle, Mark, and Dustin. Good luck, gentlemen. Now, let's see if it's time for Josh Allen. Maybe it's time for Jerome Bettis, Michael Irvin. I mean, all icons of the game, to say the least. Also, all like NFL teams of massive fan bases, right? The Bills, the Cowboys, the Steelers. Not to mention Notre Dame and Miami, iconic uh, football you know, teams as well. So nine clicks here. We got ourselves Troy Sorensen up top. Uh, Troy's got the Big Ten right below in the Big 12 is Mark Stoner. Kyle Hummel's got the ACC. He's got the Pac-12 as well. Dustin's got the SEC. And Chris has everything else here in our college double boxes 16. And 35 when you get a second, Robbie. You got it, boss. And Joe Give me Montana. I can just gotta drop this uh, vault list for you. Oh, the vault sold out yeah, as well. Yeah, they sold out on that vault single. Okay, excellent. So that'll get us to five boxes left in the vault. I'm just let me double check really quick. Apollo down to Chris Taff. Apollo down to Chris Taff. All right. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Uh, so that break will be next. The vault single box. Alright. Uh, what was those numbers again? 16 and 35 in the college. 16. The Joe Montana 35. number. Alright, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Let's see here. Start with 16 first. 
Now this is full size helmets, full size reps, full size authentics, no minis, no uh, jerseys. It's all either full size authentic helmets or full size rep helmets in our college break. All right, this one right here is a full size replica. Ooh, I love the look of this lid. It's our last secondary headliner left. One of the best receivers in the game, it's D-Hop, DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, that is Beckett certified right there. That's the ACC. DeAndre Hopkins going home to Kyle Hummel. You know, Kyle got a bunch of spots in the breaks. Uh, money well spent here on DeAndre Hopkins. You know, for a brief time, he was the best receiver in the league uh, back with the Texans. Really good with the Cardinals. You know, a little bit slower with Tennessee because he doesn't have a quarterback out there, at least not yet. Uh, five Pro Bowls of the league in receiving touchdowns in 2017. Uh, he was a big-time player at Clemson. 2012, his last college season, 1,405 receiving yards and 18 receiving touchdowns, Robbie. Uh, that is why he was a second-team All-American. Uh, one of his years at Clemson. Uh, fantastic stuff right there. For Kyle Hummel, DeAndre Hopkins, the Tiger lid. Clemson has one of the most interesting traditions in, you know, college football history. They storm the field every game, Robbie. Yes, they do. Even if they beat an FCS school, they beat an unranked team, they beat somebody who has, you know, has lost every game, they still storm the field. It's not just for the big wins, it's every game. It's a party. It's a party. Uh, definitely a party in Clemson. Just like a party here? Party in the break room. It's been one of the best college football programs the last 10 years. Faded a little bit the last couple years, but, I mean, they won a couple national championships. They also lost a couple national championships. A uh, really, really good program. The Clemson Tigers led by Dabo Sweeney, one of the best coaches in the college game. DeAndre Hopkins. All right, pretty good secondary name. Uh, we are now down to in the college break. That's the college right there, Robbie, right? That's it right there? Yep. There's only 10 That's left. 10 left. 10 left. 11 counting the one I'm about to do. Three full-size authentic headliners. Jerome Bettis, Josh Allen, and Michael Irvin still lurking in our college series, which is phenomenal stuff, of course. All right, I'll put the Hopkins away. One more lid here. Box 35 out of 35 in the college. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, I love this. I, I pulled this last week in the college series. And I am still in love. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of my favorite helmets in the break room. It is Mizzou Tiger quarterback, the Cotton Bowl MVP. It's Brady Cook, baby. <laughs> uh, awesome year for my Mizzou Tigers last year, Robbie. That's my boy. That boy. It's, it's my quarterback. <laughs> it's my quarterback. What's up, Dustin Rose? You got Brady Cook. Now, Dustin's a Missouri guy. He's a Chief fan, a Cardinal fan. He's a Mizzou guy as well, I believe. Gotta love the Brady Cook. I mean, he was a such a good quarterback. Had such a long streak of no interceptions, Robbie. Until I went to the game, he threw two picks. But uh, those were two of the only picks all year last year. Uh, Brady Cook put on a show. Uh, the Cotton Bowl Classic MVP, of course. Uh, man, he had a really good year. More than 3,000 passing yards. More than 300 rushing yards. 29 total touchdowns and only six interceptions. Wow. Uh, throwing a Luther Burden the third, who, by the way, Robbie, if you don't know that name, mark it down right now. He'll be a first round pick probably next year as a receiver. He was just a sophomore, and he was pretty much top 10 in every category. Wow. Uh, when I went to the Mizzou LSU game at the time, the two leading receivers in the country were Malik Neighbors and Luther Burden the third. Now, Luther slid a little bit late in the year because they gave it to the running back a lot. Uh, but yeah. that's the name you should remember, Luther Bird in the third. Luther Bird, all right. His number one target, uh, Brady Cook. Uh, so great stuff, man. 
Uh, Dustin Rose, SEC, it just means more. Uh, so many good SEC quarterbacks. And the modern game, this guy's a perfect example of the modern quarterback. These guys these days, Robbie, they can run, they can pass, they can do everything. And he certainly can, Brady Cook. A uh, really, really good quarterback. For my Mizzou Tigers, Mizzou had a really good tradition of NFL quarterbacks. You know, backup quarterbacks. Chase Daniel, Blaine Gabbert, uh, you know, they had back in the day, uh, Brad Smith. He was actually a kick and punt returner guy in the NFL. A lot of Mizzou quarterbacks play at the next level, whether that's the CFL, the NFL. They always find a place. Brady Cook as well, awesome guy as well. Drew Locke, a guy that I used to interview uh, all the time when I covered Mizzou. Uh, backup for the Broncos. He was a starter for the Broncos, actually. Then he was yeah. a backup for Seattle last year. And he'll be a backup for the Giants. And who knows, he might even win that starting job, uh, Drew Locke. Now, when I covered Mizzou, Robbie, Drew Locke, every week at media day, he would wear his backpack. He wanted you to know he was going to class every single day. He'd come to the media day, he'd be out, have his backpack on. Yeah. I was like, what if, did, what if you don't have class today? doesn't matter. He wants you to know he was a student athlete, Drew Locke. Always brought the backpack. <laughs> Always did, huh? Yeah, right? Vault is coming up next. Apollo, Chris, Troy, Adam, Christopher Ripka, and Chris Taft here. Now, the vault single box, this one. I'll put the Brady Cook away. I want to make room for it, but I'll put it away, Robbie. I work to not be biased, but I love this hit. I mean, the Mizzou, Mizzou looks nice. Look at the Mizzou lid. Go yeah. Tigers, baby. Uh, 2013 grad myself. I uh, went there from 09 to 2013. Also worked at the CBS station nearby, 2018 to 2020. Six of my most important years in life, Robbie, spent covering good old Mizzou. Uh, Chris Taft, speaking of uh, Brady Cook, you know what Brady Cook's number is? Like Tom Brady, number 12. Chris Taft wants 12 in the vault. 12 in the vault. Thank you, Chris. 12 in the vault. 12 going off the ticker. So in all likelihood, Robbie, there's going to be five vault boxes left. It'll probably be two doubles and a single in the vault. We got five to go in the double box. And we are you okay? Yeah. And we're wide open in the single. Uh, Josh, uh, we got, in my opinion, the second best headliner left in the diamonds. We're down to nine boxes left, my friend, in the diamond helmets. The Steve Young Rip Speed Flex still out there, which other than Peyton Manning, probably the biggest headliner in this series. And then we also have the Bo Jackson Authentic on the Raiders. Uh, and we have secondary headliners Andre Johnson and Aiden Hutchinson. So four and nine chance at a headliner in, in the Diamonds. Only two spots to go in that double box, guys. So box 12 here in the vault. Apollo, Chris, Troy, Adam, Christopher, and Chris Taft here in our vault uh, double box. Actually, vault single box, excuse me. And this is a single for our vault. We got five, six, seven, eight, and nine clicks. All right, Apollo's got that bow spot, AFC West. Uh, we got the NFC North, Chris Cornwell, Christopher Ripka, the NFC South, Troy Sorensen, the NFC East, Chris Taft, the NFC West, and the AFC North, Adam Hoffman, AFC South, Chris Taft, AFC East, and Apollo St. Clair, you've got the AFC West. Box 12 coming up here in the vault. Is it time for Bo Knows Apollo? Is Troy getting the A.J. Brown in here? Who knows, right? Uh, let's see what we got inside box 12 in the vault. Ooh, this is nice. How about A.J. Brown? Hey! The Eagle Silver Flash Authentic. Top five in the league in receiving yards last year. Top five in the league in receiving yards the year before. It is safe to say he's a top five receiver in the league. Troy Sorensen, NFC East. How about the A.J. Brown Flash Authentic? That's how we do. Uh, Troy had one spot on that break, 84 bucks 
from one of the best receivers in the league, AB11. Uh, that is how we do here in the break room. Uh, how about a Troy? Wow. Love this one. I mean, a little Close bit underrated receiver. One. A little bit underrated, Robbie. Yeah. I mean, back-to-back -back years, top five in receiving yards. So Bo Jackson will be the last headliner left. We do have one vault key still left as well. I spent a lot of time at the Boonville Casino, Adam, especially when I was in college. When I was a TV sports reporter in Missouri, I tried to not frequent the casino. I didn't want to be the TV guy at the casino because, you know, Robbie, who watches local TV? Usually the older folks. Yes, who's the at the casino, the casino? The older folks. <laughs> So, oh, God, uh, man, you're the so handsome. I, I, the person that I, I can't up into with you with yeah. those big jumpy Yes, yes, Robbie. So <laughs> I, I tried not to go to Boonville much uh, when I was a professional. But in college, <laughs> I would say I was there almost every other weekend, Adam. The Boonville Casino. Actually, my girlfriend and I went back to Missouri on a mini trip last fall. And we went to Boonville. And she won, I lost. No way. Uh, yes, it was not fun. It was our first time ever at the casino. So I love Boonville. The Isle of Capri, as they called it. They had $10 blackjack minimum, Robbie. Wow. Uh, it's a fantastic casino. Uh, you don't get that around the Chicago land. No, area. you don't. Uh, the 10 buck minimum. Wow. Uh, five to go in that vault double box. Only one to go in the diamond double box. Yes. Uh, we are looking for that Steve Young Rip Speed Flex. I uh, gotta love the Iowa, Adam. It is an awesome, awesome place. Isla Capri Boonville. So, I actually, oh, believe it or not, Robbie, I, I called that my lucky casino. I was up lifetime on that casino. Uh, I always do bad at Illinois casinos. That's the running joke. I go to Indiana. I go to Missouri, I do good. Illinois, I never do good at Illinois casinos. Oh, so, no. just not, I don't know what it is about Illinois, but it always takes my money in casinos. Wow. Chicago picks up the uh, Brianna Maxwell. Okay. Gonzaga. Let's go. Uh, even better news than that, Robbie. What? The Diamond Double sold out. Yes, Apollo St. Clair has closed it out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Apollo Creed in the house. Diamond double number one. Number two. Number two, even better. Diamond number double two. number two. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the diamonds. Uh, lived in Boonville for five years, so, 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 Adam. Okay. Well, Adam, I also covered a lot of high school sports, so I've covered Boonville football, Boonville baseball. Uh, they had a really good girls basketball team last time I was out there, so... I've been to Boonville multiple times, not just for fun, also for covering uh, high school games, Robbie. Nice. So, small world, Boonville. Small uh, world after all. We got boxes 4 and 28 from Josh. What was this again? 4 and 28. Diamonds. Diamonds. Where are diamonds, they? yes, sir. Where's my diamonds at? The double box, Robbie. Not yeah, one yeah. diamond, two diamonds. I got a... And I'm surprised that vault's not going quicker. Five boxes left. Bo Jackson left. We're still five to go in that double box. Uh, we are uh, really close, Robbie. We are really close. We're really, really close. Now, uh, the next box in the vault has a one in five chance at being Bo Jackson. And likely, Robbie, it's going to be one more double. Uh, after this one and then the single, it'll be three breaks left, two doubles in a single. So the next double will have a decent chance at it featuring Bo Jackson. All right, there you go, sir. Come on, y'all. Let's get that Bo tonight, says uh, Dark Wolf, right? Oh, I couldn't agree more. Uh, I definitely think that'll happen tonight. We just got Troy jumping into that vault double box, so we're making moves. Chris, Kyle, Dustin, Gisela, Mark, Josh, and Apollo... Boxes 4 and 28 in our diamonds, Robbie. 4 and 28 coming up. 4 and 28 coming up. Double the boxes, double the fun here in the diamonds. All right, we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 clicks. 
Chris Cornwell looking to be king of the north in the NFC North. NFC South is Mark Stoner, Apollo, St. Clair, NFC East. Dustin Rose, 4-28, Robbie. NFC West looking for the rip speed flex, Steve Young. We got Kyle Hummel, AFC North. Uh, Josh Bertheamu, AFC South. Giselle Luster, AFC East. And Kyle's got the AFC West here, Robbie. All right, box four in our diamonds here. Is it time for the Steve Young? Let's see here. Let's see what we got here. Ah, it's time for a secondary headliner in box number mojo. What's up, Josh? How about Andre Johnson on the Texans Authentic? Just got in the Hall of Fame, 11th all-time in receiving yards without ever playing for a great quarterback. Congrats, Josh. Uh, you've got the Andre Johnson authentic helmet. That is very, very clean. Uh, led the league in receiving yards a couple times. Uh, he was a top five receiver of his generation and definitely top 15 all-time Andre Johnson. Let's go, says Josh. Let's go indeed. Uh, excellent, excellent secondary name on Andre Johnson. So, I mean, we have two chases right now, Robbie. After this next box, there will be seven uh, diamonds left. I'm looking at the diamonds over there just to double check. And we are still looking for the Steve Young. Eight to go, counting the one about the rip here. Five boxes left in the vault. Still got that Bo Jackson speed flex. So we are on chase territory right now in our breaks. Congratulations, Josh, on DeAndre Johnson. All right. We'll put this one away. And let's see if it's Steve Young time. We do have a second Bo Jackson as well, by the way, Robbie. We have the standard Bo Jackson for the Raiders in, in this series. So Bo could be next, potentially, as well. All right, box 28. I call this the Marshall Falk box. What do we got in box 28? Another authentic. These are all authentics. Oh, my God. What? Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this for a filler hit, Robbie. The only guy ever to be top 10 all-time in NFL rushing yards, in college football rushing yards. It is Tony Dorsett. Wow. The Cowboy Flash authentic. Wow. Uh, beautiful hit right there. NFC East. It's not Apollo Creed. It's Apollo St. Clair. How's that for a heavyweight punch, Apollo? You've got Tony Dorsett. How's that for a filler hit, Robbie? That is nasty. I love those flashes. Oh, look at that. The flash for the Cowboys. The Beckett flashes. certified with the white ink. Uh, that is super clean uh, for the Tony Dorsett, Apollo. All right. And that's what these helmets are all about. Everyone says, ah, what headliners are left? Everything is a headliner in this series, Pretty Robbie. Pretty much. Uh, all authentics, all huge names. I mean, if you factor in pro and college games, top 10 running back of all time, Tony Dorsett. He's 10th all time in NFL rushing yards. I believe he's top five all time in college rushing yards. Uh, former Heisman Trophy winner in college, pro and college football Hall of Famer, uh, Mr. Tony Dorsett. The second best Dallas Cowboy running back ever behind a certain guy named Emmett Smith. So we'll put the Tony Dorsett away. And what are we going to do next, Robbie? Are we chasing Bo or are we chasing Steve Young or are we're we chasing, chasing Bo? A couple of, we're chasing a couple of Bo's. I mean, there's a Josh Allen that's chasing the college as well. That's four to go in the double. But looks like the vault double is the next order of business. Uh, three spots left. So after this one sells out, Robbie, that next vault double you put up will be the last break we put up in the series. Because we have the single that's up, and then that last double will be the last one for the whole series. 
And we're now one to go in that vault break. Yep. So Bo Jackson will be coming out tonight. Steve Young with only seven diamonds left. That Robbie also coming out tonight. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. 42 people watching, uh, so few boxes left. We'll see those two items, no question tonight. Honestly, that could be the hit video by itself. I mean, we'll, we'll talk after the show. Tony Gonzalez is a good one as well. Uh, but those two helmets will definitely uh, stand out. And we are now none to go in the vault. Hey, Kyle Hummer calls it out. What's up, Kyle? Well, with a couple other uh, breaks he's Kyle's getting. going hard tonight. Uh, also, two. two to go in the college, Robbie. Bettis, Josh Allen, uh, both still lurking. So this is our third vault double, I believe. That is our third vault double. Yes, sir. So vault double number. You said this is the last one you need to post. Post in the vault. This this next one's the last break you'll put up. Yeah. Because we have three boxes left. We have the single and we have the double up. So there, there's five left now. There will be three left after this, right? There's five boxes on, back there. Oh, the vault. Your vault. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we have boxes so, 18, 28, 29, 30, and 32, guys. All right, so one more double. And, and that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. So we got vault box number three right here. So let me know. Robbie's getting that list put in, guys. But if you're in that break, you are good to drop me. Two box numbers, two boxies, and what could be the Bo Jackson break? There's actually a 40% chance Bo Jackson is in this break, Robbie. Five boxes left, two of them are here. There's also a 60% chance he's not in here. So if you don't think Bo's going to be in here, you better get in the next one, right? Uh, we got Michael Bennett in the chat, wants 29. Thank you, Michael. One more. Here we go. Uh, the Dark Wolf 90 wants 18. Is that Justin Powers, Dark Wolf? Do let me know. I just Or James Powers, excuse me. Just want to make sure I have the right guy in the break. James Powers. Okay. So, okay. 18. And then 29, Robbie. And that'll leave boxes 28, 30, and 32 for the last three vault boxes. Right, so one there, two there, cool. and two there. All right, we're good with him. All right, all right, all right. And then you want 29 and 18. And 18. Yep, 29 and 18 in the vaults. We got Peyton Manning and LeGarrette Blunt. 29 and 18. 29 and 18. All right, nine clicks. Gisela Luster has the NFC North. Chris Cornwell, the NFC South. Troy Sorensen, NFC East. Adam Hoffman, NFC West. Dustin Rose, AFC North. Michael Bennett, AFC South. Kyle Hummel, AFC East. And James Powers. Mr. Powers, you got yourself the AFC West. A 2-5 and five chance at the Bo Jackson, Robbie. Five boxes left. Two of them coming up here. And he's got the AFC West. We'll start with 18, then we got 29 right behind here in our vault double box. We do have one more vault key still lurking in this series as well. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, this is one of the best offensive linemen ever. How about a little bit of a box number mojo, actually. That's, this was box 18, actually called 29. Uh, but either way, Michael Bennett is getting a W. Tony Berselli, Hall of Fame offensive lineman, the first Jaguar ever drafted, the first Jaguar ever in the Hall of Fame. Uh, this dude was a beast. Uh, blocked for Fred Taylor, full-size authentic Michael Bennett, uh, Tony Berselli. The Jaguar lids always look clean. Alrighty, Michael. Get that one written up. And one more box left. 
Sweet, very nice, says Michael. You're welcome, Michael. Thank you so much for playing, brother. Uh, you are very welcome. Congrats on your Tony Baselli lid. So four boxes left. Uh, Counting the one about the break. James Powers has a one in four chance uh, at the Bo Jackson. We'll see what we got coming up next. All right, box 29 called out by Michael here. 29 out of 35 in the vault. Is this the Bo Jackson? And James looking for that sick Hydro Speed Flex here, Robbie. This one is most definitely authentic. Most definitely authentic and most definitely the authentic Bo Jackson. Let's go, Raiders three-tone hydro speed flex with the visor. The speed flex with the pros wear. We got the military branches on the back, the Al Davis, the Vegas, the USA sticker. It's got like a camo tint yeah. to that as well. Uh, this is incredible. You know, pro wow. bowler in the NFL. He was an all-star in the MLB. Uh, Heisman Trophy winner in college. One of the best dual sport athletes of all time. I mean, how hard is that, Robbie? You play two professional sports at once. Uh, great stuff right there, James Powers. Uh, you got yourself the Bo Jackson Hydro Speed Flex. That is oh, how wow. we do. What's up, Mr. Powers? If he thought the Tony Baselli was a very nice hit, what do you think about that one, James? Because that is life-changing right there. Wow. Beautiful helmet. He says, wow, awesome. Wow, awesome indeed. An awesome item for the PC. Uh, you get a Hydro Speed Flex and it's Bo Jackson. I love this. Absolutely love this. It is the hit of the show for now. I still think the Steve Young for me, I like better. That one's Obviously, for me. this one's for you. It's yeah. a personal preference. Yeah, it's my, it's a it's military like me. Yeah. It's got military, the Marine Corps. This one is Marine yours, right? Sticker back there. Yeah, awesome. it does. Yeah, it does. Let me know who's your team there, James. I, I doubt he's gonna trade this. I got a lot of good stuff too. Uh, this is this it's is speed flex too. It's a good one, a uh, real good right there, Bo Jackson. I got a giant speed flex and a dolphin speed flex. What's James's team? Do we know James? Oh, we don't even know his team. Uh, nice hit, congrats, man. Says Roderick, and he says can't trade that man. <laughs> oh. In, in my experience, Robbie, I've almost never seen the hydro speed flexes or the chrome speed flexes. Usually when these guys win these, it's either a PC item or they sell it so they can get a lot of money out of it. That's true. Very rarely do they trade these. So I know we have a ton of trades that happen in our break room. Yes. But usually they don't involve the custom lids. Those are usually either ones guys keep or they sell for a lot online, typically. He's a 49ers guy. Oh. So. Is he in the diamonds? Uh, I believe he is. James... We have seven diamond boxes left. The Rip Steve Young uh, Speed Flex that's got not, your name written all over it. He is not in the diamonds. So Troy says, let me know if you want to do some trading. Uh, Paulo also says open to trades. Uh, but uh, I don't know, guys. You might be out of luck. I don't know if I'm that lucky. <laughs> well, one time, shoot your shot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're a 49er fan, it's kind of tough to, to top this lid, Robbie. By the way, there's only seven boxes left. So there's the Steve Young probabilities are getting better and better and better here. The Steve Young rip speed flex. Well, I'll tell you what, who is a 49er fan? She's in here. Gisela? Gisela Luster. Of course. Grabbing one spot. That's all it takes. One spot in the diamonds. She gets it. Uh, diamonds down to four to go. And then when you get a second, Robbie, if you could post that last vault double. Yep, doing that right now. And then we do have two to go in the college double box as well. Josh Allen's still out there. Uh, Jerome Bettis, Michael Irvin. Only 10 boxes left in the college. Three authentic photo headliners, guys, as well. So we could get on a one chase down, Robbie. Bo Jackson. Yep. Uh, two chases to go, right? I always say if it's like 10 boxes or less... Big names left, we're chasing. Chase Steve Young in the Diamonds. Uh, Chase the Josh Allen in the college. These are 
A very, very natural chases here in our break room. And I think the diamond and the college are the next two breaks, probably. Two to go, four to go. Uh, those should happen here soon. Diamond single, also only five to go, guys. And jersey single, five to go as well. So, I gotta write up the bow. Uh, but, yeah, this is this one is safe for the hit video, Bo oh, Jackson. Yeah, that is definitely safe. Uh, we will see what else we decide on tonight. But Bo Jackson, very much safe tonight. It's a personal preference. I know Robbie, of course, you know, served the military for us. We thank Robbie for his service. Uh, he likes the Bo Jackson. Uh, obviously, I love this helmet. I love what it stands for. Uh, I'm a quarterback guy. I love 49er lids. I'm a Steve Young fan. Uh, my personal favorite helmet is still out there uh, that we still have left right now. It's the Steve Young. Uh, this thing is insane. It's a, it's a ripped speed flex. It's got the silver amp ripped into the standard authentic. It's got number eight on the back. A Hall of Fame quarterback with the speed flex, with the visor. I love that lid. Uh, that is my favorite helmet left in our breaks here. Uh, Mr. Steve Young. So who's going to get Steve Young? Who's going to make the magic happen in the room? Only four spots to go in that diamond double. Uh, by the way, for the Bo Jackson fans out there that missed out on that hydro bow, there is a standard authentic bow for the Raiders. Uh, only seven boxes left. Bo Jackson is left as well. And for our line fans out there, we do have one of the best young pass rushers in the game, Aiden Hutchinson, still left. So three headliners and seven boxes in the diamonds. Uh, this is a no-brainer chase, uh, guys. No-brainer for the diamond helmets. So let's get those. Let's see Steve Young. Uh, let's get those diamonds knocked out next. If you think about it, I mean, I guess here's a good question. What quarterback back-to-back -back historically is better? Would you guys rather have Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers? Or would you rather have Joe Montana and Steve Young? Because I'm thinking to myself, what was the best quarterback transition? I guess we had Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck as well. Uh, but Andrew Luck didn't win a Super Bowl. Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, or Joe Montana and Steve Young? That's tough. Because those are probably the two best off the top of my head. You know, you move on from a Hall of Fame quarterback, you move on to another one afterwards. Craig, I also lean Montana and Young personally, just because in my opinion, uh, I think that as good as Brett Favre was, and he was great, Robbie. Oh, yes. He was an all-time great. You look at the amount of picks he had compared to Montana, Compared to Steve Young, compared to Aaron Rodgers, I would personally take Steve Young over Brett Favre. Uh, that's where I would lean Montana and Steve Young. Uh, we're talking about the best, you know, quarterback following a quarterback. Like, what's the the best one-two punch? Is it Joe Montana and Steve Young, or is it Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers? And the other one I threw out there was Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck, because uh, those two guys follow each other as well. Yeah, I think it's definitely close, Craig, but as usual, I agree with Craig Joseph. I agree with most of this guy's opinions. I would just say it's close, personally. I mean, all four are Hall of Famers. All four are arguably top ten quarterbacks of all time. Uh, we got Dark Wolf says that stuff. I'd have to say Montana to Young. My dad was a huge Far fan and don't like Rodgers replacing him much, right? And that's kind of what, you know, in all, in all honesty, I think Aaron Rodgers is better than Brett Favre. But Green Bay fans actually liked Brett Favre better. Yes. Like he was, he had some issues off the field, especially nowadays. But Brett Favre's passion for the game on the field, the energy he brought, he was something else to watch. No wonder yes, that was. John Madden loved him so much. Yes. Because I'll be honest with you, those Green Bay Packer fans... You know, they care about winning, and they didn't care so much about Favre using alcohol, that type of stuff. And, of course, the whole stuff 
A more recent issues, they were not an issue back then. No. Uh, so. Not as like they are now. Can't, you gotta be careful what you do. Craig Joseph says, I take Young over Favre or Rogers. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's tough. Rogers to me is slightly better, but I would take, I would, I'll put it this way. Steve Young for me, Robbie, slightly better than Brett Favre. And Aaron Rodgers, slightly better than Steve Young. But all three of those guys, I mean, they're icons. Uh, got a spot, says Gabe. Uh, three left in that double box break. Yes. Uh, Josh, I think it depends on who you watched growing up. Being in my mid-30s, never seeing Montana and a little bit of Young have to go far than Rodgers. See, Josh, I'm the same as you. I only saw a little bit of, of Young as well. Didn't see Montana. But I do like to crunch the numbers. I watch the old school videos. And I think Steve Young was very underappreciated personally, Robbie. Because, you know, you look at the all-time passer rating. He was the most efficient quarterback of his era. More efficient than Marino. More efficient than Favre. More efficient than Montana. You know, like touchdown to pick ratio. Uh, you know, quarterback passer rating. Steve Young was, was, was that dude. He was awesome. Yes. It's a real shame Favre couldn't get the Vikings to the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, there was a certain bounty on Brett Favre. That didn't yeah. help him. Uh, the bounty gate with uh, Mr. Sean Payton out there in New Orleans. Because, you know, Brett Favre, I also think it's kind of, he came just like a couple years too late. Because Adrian Peterson was so good, he never had a great quarterback until Brett Favre. And right when Favre got there... It's right when Peterson just started to fade just a little bit. But if those two guys played together longer, they probably would have made a Super Bowl. Brett Favre and Adrian Peterson, that would have been quite the duo. Young, Manning, Breeze are all disrespected, says Josh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree, except for I think Peyton Manning does get rated a lot. I would say a lot of folks put Manning as two or three, but I definitely think Steve Young... And Drew Brees, in particular, do get a lot of disrespect. What's up, Sean Bates? But I kind of have to agree with Josh. You know, I, uh, you know, we only got to see a little bit of um, the guys that you mentioned, the Dan Marinos, the Steve Youngs. Every, I mean, a lot, I, I got to see Elway towards the end of his career. And you love Elway, yeah. Um, but again, it all depends on how you grew up, what you grew up watching. I mean, they're all so great. They were, they we're, are great. We're, we're I had to go back and watch film because I didn't yeah. get to see Steve Young that much or whatever. St Steve Young was actually one of the original dual threat guys. He was a really good running quarterback, he too. He was, yeah. He was really good at everything he did. Uh, he was awesome. Yeah, I agree. I, I think Peyton Manning does get a lot of respect. Drew Brees, on the other hand, though, he does get some disrespect. I mean, I'd argue Steve Young might be getting a little disrespect right now, Robbie. We're two to go. Uh, we should be none to go here real quick in the Diamonds, right? Yes. Uh, the reason why we're talking about the best transition, quarterback to quarterback, you know, Young or Montana to Young, Favre to Rodgers, you know, Manning to Andrew Luck, it's because we have this helmet right here, Robbie. Now we got this awesome Steve Young lid. I can't wait to see this come out. Too. And we're, we are seeing this here because, I mean, if it doesn't come out in this next double, there's only five boxes left. Yeah. Obviously, we'll run it back, right? Yep. It goes without saying. So, come and get Mr. Steve Young. Now, he has one record, Robbie, that I think will not get broken. You know what that is? Six touchdown passes in a Super Bowl game. Steve Young had six touchdown passes against the Chargers in the Super Bowl. Something Brady's never done. Something Manning hasn't done. Something Mahomes hasn't done. I don't know if we ever see six touchdown passes again. Uh, diamond double, two left. You are right. That's what I'm saying, Craig. But if we love Steve Young as much as you and I did, uh, this would be none to go, Robbie. Because there's only seven boxes left. We got to get that knocked out next. Two yeah, to go. Do. I think we did. I think we will. If I got faith in our... Our value VIPs out there, you know. You know, also played in that Super Bowl against Steve Young. One of my favorite, like, random stats. 
Eric Bieniemy, uh, the chief former offensive oh, coordinator. Yeah. He was a fullback for the Chargers. He had one carry for three yards in that game, Robbie. One carry for three yards. Wow. Uh, here's that box score, by the way. 49-26 Niners. Steve Young, 24 of 36. 325 passing yards and six touchdown passes. I said dual threat had five carries for 49 yards as well. Think about that, man. The guy put up 374 total yards and six touchdown passes, Robbie. Wow. That's wild. The Jerry Rice, by the way, uh, 10 catches, 149 yards, and three touchdowns in that game, Robbie. We are one to go now in those diamonds double Let's box. Let's go. One to go. Ricky Waters had uh, three catches, 61 yards as well in that game. So, or you could just be the Packers and have three quarterbacks in a row that are good. They have a good QB for 30 years, probably another 10 more years. Some teams haven't had a good QB at all in 30 years. Josh, that would be our team here in Chicago. <laughs> Although Jake Cutler <laughs> was okay, but I wouldn't say really good. Uh, Jordan Love, as much as it pains me to say this, Robbie, as a Bear fan, he's also really good. Don't uh, say it. He's good. <laughs> he finished second in the league in Who passing touchdowns last year. Jordan Love. Oh, yeah. He, he won got, a playoff yeah. game. I mean, yeah. We need more sample size, but so far it looks like he's the next great Packer quarterback. Uh, so I, I do think the Bears, obviously, I think Caleb Williams is the real deal. That remains to be seen. Uh, but I am cautiously optimistic the Bears finally have their guy, a guy that can throw the ball, he can run the ball, he's got a cannon arm, and just as importantly, he's got weapons. Keenan Allen... Obviously a big acquisition, DeAndre Swift. Uh, we do already have DJ Moore, so we'll see. But for now, uh, definitely don't know the great quarterbacks here in Chicago. Come on, guys, says Gabe. Let's close the double break. Let's do it. One spot to go, 180 bucks. Uh, again, that Steve Young rip speed flex, it's probably worth north of a thousand bucks, Robbie. And you can get it for 180. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. No. So, who's getting that last spot in that diamond double box? The single is only five to go, too, Robbie. So, we are close on that one as well. Who's all in that diamond double right now? Kyle Hummer, twice. Chris Cornwell, Gisela, Gabriel, Joseph, and then Apollo. Okay. So... <clears throat> who's getting that final spot? I mean, what a James Powers said he's a 49er fan. Yeah. And he just won this Bo Jackson. Kind of playing with house money, Robbie. That'd be a spot for a 49er fan that could be a very, very lucky spot, perhaps. 31 folks watching. Somebody wants that last spot, right? Oh, yeah. Somebody wants that spot. Somebody wants a Steve Young, I imagine. Uh, by the way, Jeff Garcia wasn't too bad either. Four-time Pro Bowler. Obviously not near those other guys, but Jeff Garcia was the guy that was after Steve Young with Terrell mm -hmm. Owens. Did some damage too. Uh, Jeff Garcia did Brock Purdy right now for a little bit. Alex Smith, Colin Kaepernick. Uh, you know, Niners tend to have some really good quarterbacks, Robbie. That's just a really good football organization, uh, the San Francisco 49ers. So, so I think we had what? We had one guy say Favre and Rodgers. Uh, we had a couple guys say Young and Montana. Um, I think all those guys are really good options. Now, Steve Young used to play against Brett Favre. That was a nice little rivalry there in the 90s. Uh, the Niners and the Packers. We also had the Niners and the Cowboys. Uh, NFC was loaded with quarterbacks in that era, right? I mean, Aikman... Oh, Favre, yeah. Steve Young, uh, definitely. Donovan uh, McNabb. McNabb was a little bit more late 90s, oh. early 2000s, but he was good too. Uh, McNabb was very good as well. He was a little Elway? bit younger than those Elway? guys. Elway. Elway, the AFC, but yeah. I mean, the 90s had good quarterbacks. I know nowadays we got good ones, but those guys were also very good. 
John Elway had maybe the best finish to a career. Uh, won yeah. two Super Bowls uh, right before he retired. Yeah, but Adam, it's I, I was more thinking directly Rivers to Herbert. So I guess we had, was it a couple years before that happened? I guess they were fairly soon. Let me see, Phillip Rivers last season. Although those guys are not young in Montana. But Phillip Rivers last season in LA was 2019. Justin Herbert first season. Wow, oh, you're right, 2020. Yeah, that's a good one. That's one I hadn't thought of. Uh, definitely a good, good one as well. We are closed. Gabe closes it. Diamond double number three. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, in our diamond double box. Double the boxes, Robbie. Double the fun here in the diamonds, right? That is what I'm talking about. So, Gabe Cook. Did he get another Facebook? Because I've seen Gabe Cook and now it's Gabe Tabs. But I'm guessing that's Gabe Cook. You're just on a different Facebook, Gabe? Is that right, Robbie? I don't know. He must have changed his Facebook or something. He changed his name, maybe? He's got a dog in this picture. That looks cool. He says both me. All right, perfect. So let's do 2 and 20 then. Boom. And... So 7 through 9 is 3, 11, 29. So we got... Seven left there, five left, Robbie, after right, so these two boxes. We'll do another double box. Yep, do another double. It'll probably be two doubles and a single for the diamonds. Switch to his business profile. Okay. Well, that makes sense because the man's here on business, Robbie. Yep. He means business in the break room. I'm here to win, he says. I'm not messing around. All right. So Robbie will get that list finalized. We'll rock and roll, and we will see if Steve Young comes out next, Robbie. Diamonds, that would be right? this is diamonds. This is diamonds. Apollo was a little bit late with seven and twenty-nine. Uh, Gabe first with two and twenty here, Robbie. Give me one second. I'm sure I'll probably ask you again. You're fine. We'll get that one ready. You're good, Robbie. I just want to see that Steve Young lid, man. I feel like there wasn't like, I think we had, I guess it's our third double. So six boxes. We had 11 to start, but I would have thought the Steve Young would be out already by now, right? Uh, so. Kyle, Kyle, down to Cook. Kyle, Kyle, down to Cook. All right, we're good. All right, two and 20, Robbie. Two and 20, gotcha, boss. Yes, sir. We got Barry Sanders and Johnny Menzel. Two or you know, two is Menzel, twenty is Barry. All right, good luck, folks. We got five, five two and six, seven, eight, and nine clicks. Kyle Hummel's got the NFC West, looking for the Steve Young Rip Speed Flex. NFC North is Apollo. NFC South is Craig. Gisela's got the NFC East. Kyle's got the NFC West and the AFC North. Uh, Gabriel Cook, AFC South and East. And Chris Cornwell in that Bo Jackson spot. The other Bo Jackson left in the AFC West. We can get two Bo Jacksons in one night, Robbie. In fact, we're likely to get two in one night. We might. With so few boxes left, Robbie. Yeah. I would think we're going to see another Bo Jackson. All right. Is this the Steve Young here? Box two. We have the Aiden Hutchinson secondary headliner as well. And then, of course, Bo Jackson, who I mentioned, still left in our diamond lids. All right. It's our last secondary headliner, Aiden oh, Hutchinson. Oh, wow. uh, the line authentic. Uh, that is Beckett certified with that QR sticker on the back. Pro Bowler last season. Uh, he was just a rookie two years ago. Uh, man, he's a beast. I mean, Aiden Hutchinson, a Heisman Trophy finalist uh, for Michigan in college. He played high school ball in Michigan. 
uh, help lead the Lions to the NFC Championship game. A nice hit Apollo St. Clair, one of the best pass rushers in the game. And he's still super duper young with the great future Aiden Hutchinson. I mean, the Lions have a great future. Uh, such a great young team. A lot of their big pieces, you know, Jameer Gibbs, Amon Ross St. Brown, Aiden Hutchinson, all young guys. So congratulations, Apollo St. Clair right there. He did say he's named after Apollo Creed. Oh, he actually he said that in the chat. So oh, that's, wow. that's pretty cool. What? All right. One eight one two four six right there for Apollo. Probably happy he didn't get his box numbers because he did get a W in the Hutch. All right, Kyle Hummel. Let's see if it's time for your Steve Young rip flex. Chris Cornwell looking for the Bo Jackson. In our diamond double box. Only five left, Robbie, after this, right? Only five boxes left, folks. Let's get them done tonight, Robbie. All right. Oh, would you look at that? This is Closer Magic, AFC South. Earl Campbell with the Hall of Fame 91, Hall of Fame running back, pro and college football. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yeah, two Earl Campbells tonight. <laughs> uh, I'll put this one away because it's not dual signed. No. <laughs> uh, JSA. Well, that's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> JSA certified Earl Campbell. Uh, he was a Heisman Trophy winner in college, an NFL MVP in the pros. That is the last spot Gabe got, and that spot paid off. Earl Campbell. My dad really wanted Rocky, says Apollo St. Clair. Okay. And what, he had to settle for Apollo? That's pretty good, too. I uh, love the Rocky movies. Now I just want to watch those, Robbie. And the Creed movies are good, too. That whole franchise is fantastic. Yes. All their helmets are always slick, says uh, the wolf. Uh, boom, says Gabe. Boom, indeed. Apollo says, I'm a Packer fan. I've got something Bears, something Lions, and two Cowboys, right? Oh. But Apollo, it's better than getting L's, right? Because there's a lot of, you know, Bear fans, a lot of, lot of Cowboy fans, yes. for sure. A lot of Lion fans. You can always trade with these guys, no doubt about that. Uh, so there we go, Gabriel, Oro Campbell. So five boxes left, Robbie. Two headliners left. Steve Young, Rip Speed Flex. Plus a Bo Jackson Authentic. Uh, I would say let's run back the diamonds, yes. right? Let's run it back. Let's run it back, guys. Uh, no reason why we shouldn't. All right, I'll put this Earl Campbell away. And let's go, Niner Nation. Uh, now's your time, right? All these 49er fans in the break room, uh, there's no time like the present uh, to get that Steve Young rip speed flex. Cream of the crop quarterback, cream of the crop helmet. Uh, five boxes left. Likely two doubles and a single Robbie. Uh, so only three more breaks. We should be seeing Steve Young here soon. Uh, we got five to go in that single. The double is wide open. Oh, not wide open anymore though, Steven. What's up, Steven Lenhart? Uh, we did get your jersey personal earlier. Got the Johnny Menzel jersey. Now he's entered the fray here in the break room. Actually, we just had a bunch of orders come in, Robbie. We're four to go in the single, and we're only five to go now in the double box. Three helmets in one week. Not bad, not bad, says Gabe. Right on, brother. You are doing good. And Gabe is doing... Mighty good, Robbie, right? Oh, mighty good. Mighty good. We might even drop new diamonds tonight, Robbie. We uh, might. We might. We get this closed up. We'll drop the new diamonds. A diamond series that Gabe Cook will very much be in love with. I'll tell you that much. Question is, what's going to sell first, the single or the double, Robbie? 
because five to go in the double, four to go in the single. So I'll drop the double box link in first. Here's that one. And then I will post the single box link right behind as well. Both of these will fill up tonight, no doubt about that. With the Steve Young and the Bo Jackson left. Don't forget, last chance at the one and four by tonight. It is going bye-bye. That's true. It is the we Chase Wheelspin. We have been talking about it all night, so I, so I kind of brought, sure, it up. I brought it up right now. I figured, hey, it's 840. I think this is a perfect time to bring it up. One last chance in the one and four. And I would love to get at least one box done because it's the Chase wheel spin. Yeah. So you guys have a one in four chance at the item, one in four chance at the wheel spin. Hakeem Olajuwon and Gary Payton left in that one in four The guys. glove himself. The glove. Uh, so we'll take that off the website after tonight. And we'll have a one in four probably in a few days. I do want to let that rest a little bit. Uh, but this specific one in four coming off the site after tonight's program. So last chance for that. If you guys want that. Uh, obviously, I would say almost last chance for the Steve Young. Because there's only five to go in the yep. double, four to go in the single. Uh, there's a 60% chance that Steve Young is in either one of those breaks. Uh, I will say this, Robbie. If I'm a customer right now, I make sure I have one spot in each. Because if you're looking to play, you've got money to spend. Uh, you're, not, you're not guaranteed to get Steve Young, obviously. But I would hate to not have a chance at the Steve Young. It's worth getting one spot in each break. So that way you can at least say, I was in the break that he came out in. Exactly. I could have had a shot at that yep. Steve Young rip speed flex. Let me show this off again. 41 folks watching. Let me show off this Steve Young, because I imagine there's got to be a few of these guys interested in this helmet, Robbie. I know I'd be interested. Look at that thing. Now look at that microwave, that video. Uh, Steve Young rip speed flex. It's got the, like the amp version on the bottom. It's got the... Uh, like silver version then we have the gold rip at the top uh, that thing is fantastic it's got the number eight on the back hall of fame quarterback nfl record holder for passing touchdowns in a super bowl uh so winding down in the diamonds right robbie yes we are what do we got is that a double or a single order uh, it's a double it's a double so i think four to go in each right yep and, and it's probably dropping it's probably even less as I speak here. Four in each now. Four, Four in each. each. In case they sell out at the same time, Robbie, we do run the double first. Uh, single would be the one afterwards. And let's not forget about this college double box as well, by the way. Uh, we only got ten boxes left in college. Jerome Bettis, Josh Allen, Michael Irvin. Three photoed headliners, all authentic in the final ten boxes. Uh, all icons of the game, right? Bettis and Michael Irvin are Hall of Famers. Uh, one of the best running backs and one of the best receivers ever, Josh Allen. In my opinion, the second best quarterback in the league right now. Uh, he'll be a future Hall of Famer, no doubt about that. Uh, so uh, that's another one we should knock out. Obviously, Robbie, only two spots left. We should knock out at least one more break in here uh, for the college. Yep. Uh, the vault, uh, we got six to go in the single. We did pull the headliners. There is one more vault key left. Uh, we have the one in four, which we mentioned. Seven boxes left. It's the Chase Wheel Spin. Last show of the one in four. We do have this awesome Hakeem Olajuwon basketball. One of the best centers ever. And then one of the best uh, guards ever, Gary Payton. Still out there in the one in four as well. Mini helmets, seven to go. Uh, looking for the TJ Hawkinson, Earl Campbell, Roger Craig and CJ2K Chris Johnson. Only nine mini helmets left. Four headliners left in the ring chasing series. This break should happen tonight as well, Robbie. Four spots to go. Uh, we got the AJ Green jersey. We got the NFL's all time leader for touchdowns by a tight end, Antonio Gates. Uh, we do have the Eric Dickerson uh, and the Brian Erlacher. Those are just the photo headliners left. We do have Robert Mathis, Joe Theismann, and Drew Bledsoe still lurking in here. Uh, but other than the Steve Young, Robbie, we do have the Bo Jackson Vader Authentic. Five boxes left, two oh, yeah. photoed headliners. Yep. So that's pretty good. 
Oh, that's, that's, that's very good. That's a 40% chance at a photo headliner. And as we know in the diamonds, even the other three boxes, Robbie, are going to be absolutely fantastic in the hand steam diamond helmet series. So, as you know, we'll go to whenever the brakes are hot, we'll keep going. Could be 10 o'clock, could be 11, could be 12. But unless it's absolutely slow, I like to give these guys minimum till 9.30 every night. We've done all right tonight. We'll be oh, on here for fantastic. at least 45 more minutes, Robbie. So in the next... Really? At least. Could be more. Oh, come on. Could be, could be 10 o'clock. Could be 11. What, what do you want? I'm looking for, like... Midnight? Yeah, because... We could do midnight. You guys, you know, you guys told me that you guys do late nights. But midnight. But really haven't had... You want more time. late nights, Robbie. Yes, I'm looking for a late night. I don't know why it is, but the guys love to be on late Friday night. I don't know what it is. Really? Friday night, that's our late night, always. Well, I'm only in the afternoon. So. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, look, guys. Robbie's ready to work. Put the man to work. I mean... Uh, he says, forget 9.30. I want to be here till midnight. Uh, but I was going to say, Robbie, by 9.30, there's four breaks. I'm about 90% sure will happen by 9.30. That would be the Diamond Double, four to go. Yes. Uh, that would be the College Double, one to go. Uh, that would also be the Diamond Single, four to go, and the Jersey Single, four to go. Those four breaks will definitely happen tonight, and they'll definitely happen by 9.30. So not a matter of if, a matter of when. And let's be honest, Robbie, sometimes in a chase for a sick helmet like Steve Young, there might be one guy that gets in here and buys all four spots. So I would recommend get those orders in ASAP. Well, let's see the Steve Young helmet also ASAP. Better better sooner rather than later. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. But I like the attitude, Robbie. Wants to work late tonight. Uh, these guys could make it happen. It's up to them, Robbie. It is uh, they, totally up to them. They get the orders in, and we'll be on all night long. Oh, night, night long. long. All night. There we go, Robbie. There we go. Ooh, we got so I went in one, on one for two out. on my bets tonight, Robbie. Uh, I got the Orioles winning over the Twins. I did miss the Yankees. The Blue Jays did beat them uh, tonight. So a little one for two night. Uh, two for three on the day, though. I had the Red Sox earlier today, so not a bad day. Uh, Cubs game underway against the D-backs. The White Sox about to lose again. Yeah. <laughs> two, they can't even score. No, they can't. Tough. Tough here on the south side. Oh, it's going to be rough for them for a while. Two to go in the diamond double box. Uh, nice lid, says Don Veluso. Yes, very nice lid indeed. Also, two to go in the jerseys. Uh, incredible. Yeah, Kyle's getting into a couple. And two to go in the diamond single, Robbie. Yes. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Hydro Speed Flex, Tom Beluso, uh, Mr. Bo Jackson. Fantastic lid here. Bo knows. Now, Kyle Hummel's been rocking tonight. He's been rolling. Uh, he's listening to me. He says, oh, what did Common say? Get a spot in both diamond breaks so that I have a shot at Steve Young in both of those, right? So actually, Robbie, Hello? the double was sold out. And you put up one more double, and that's it for the series. Because only five boxes left. So you don't even have to repost the single. The last double is the last one in the series. For what? The diamonds. That's it. Oh, yes. Last yes. double, Robbie. Yes. And we are done with the diamonds. Gisela Luster. Okay. we see. I see you, Gisela. What close first, the diamonds or the college? Uh, looks like it's going to be... Oh, but I, I'm seeing one item might be out of stock, so it might have uh, uh, oversold uh, here. Hold on, hold on. Where are we at? College. Oh, here we are. College. I think the college sold out first. So, yeah, the college sold out first. So, I think Chris... So, what happens once in a while, Robbie, if two guys are in at the same time... It'll boot one of you out, but it'll still make the purchase. Correct me if I'm wrong when you get there, but I believe that Chris Taft's order came in after uh, we sold out the diamonds. But I know you're updating that out. You can double check here and let me know. And then the diamonds. Are so what's the last spot you have for the diamonds? 
Is that a uh, Gisela spot? Yeah, Gisela bought the last two in the diamonds and then the last spot in the double box uh, college. Okay, so real quick, Chris Taft, are you out there, Mr. Taft? So your diamond spot oversold, we can issue you a refund or we can give you one spot in the next one. Uh, yes. Given that that next double could sell out real fast though, Robbie, I need to know now from Chris. Uh, I know sometimes I let him wait, but we need to know now, Chris, uh, because obviously this is going to sell pretty quickly. I was going to just do that in the first place is just put them in the next one because we had one oversell or, uh, during the show before. I know. And I put... But I, I, I go ahead and ask them. So would you like a refund, Chris, or do you want to put in the next one? Uh, let us know, sir. Uh, and let's break the ones here. He says next is fine. Thank you. So uh, we got you in the next one, Chris. So that next diamond double will be seven to go, Robbie. Yep, I got it. I got it. Perfect. I got it. And I think we'll break the college first because college sold out yeah, first. Yeah, college first, and then I'm going to get you that list as soon as I get Mr. Chris Taff in his spot. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah, well, we're going to get rocking and rolling here shortly, folks. Excellent. And all those breaks that said we're going to sell, Robbie... Well, the college went, the diamond double went, the diamond single and the jersey single, both only two spots to go. So we are getting there, right? Yes, we are. We are getting there. So we'll do the college next. So put this in the chat. College double number two. Five. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. First come, first serve for the college. You good, Robbie? Right, now let's go give you college now. Where's college? Right, college is going to be down here. College is right there. So Robbie's bringing that college over, but if you're in the break, guys, uh, you can call out your numbers. This is going to be number two, right? The second college double. Yes, sir. Number three, actually. I take that back. Number three. Is that number three already? Yep, yeah, number three. Oh, even better. Even better. Yeah, it is number three. Okay. Yeah, we did two doubles already. Perfect. And that next diamond break is ready. Seven spots to go. Uh, that is the last diamond in the series. All right. So here we go. Here's this list. And then I'll get you that diamond. Diamond double next. Yes. yes. So we got Chris Cornwell, Kyle Hummel, Stephen Lenhart, and Gisela Luster. Uh, let me know, guys, on those two numbers. Sean Bates says, Robbie, that always look good on your shelf? Yes. I bet it does. It is. That was in that last mini series, right? Yes. Um... So I'll give you guys about 30 seconds on a college number. Uh, we only got 10 boxes left in college. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the ticker. Ticker is good. Ticker looks good. So all those numbers are on there. 1, 2, 8, 12, 15, 17, 20, 25, 29, and 31 are available in the college. What was the numbers? 17 and 31. I know Chris Cornwell is looking for number 17, Josh Allen. Inside box 17 here. Seven? 31. Oh, 31. Oh, it's the last one. You got yeah. seven on your mind. John Elway, Josh Allen. 17, seven. I got seven. Lucky seven. Seven, seven everywhere, Robbie. All right, 17 and 31. All right, nine clicks here. Eight and nine. All right, Stephen Lenhart's got the NFC, or the Big Ten, excuse me. I'm so used to the football breaks. Uh, Kyle, or the NFL breaks, rather. Kyle Hummel, the Big 12. Uh, Kyle's got the ACC, Gisela's got the Pac-12, Chris has the SEC, and Chris has the everything else spot as well in the college double box. Start with 17, and then we'll do 31 next. Pettis, Irvin, and of course Josh Allen, uh, the big headliners left in the college break. 
All right. Full size rep helmets. We got a former Buckeye quarterback Heisman Trophy winner. It is the 06 Heisman Trophy dual threat guy, Troy Smith. Uh, I got the Buckeyes on the back. Iconic lid, Beckett certified. Congratulations, Steve Lenhart. You've got the Big Ten. You've got the Troy Smith. That's nice. I know he beat, beat Michigan that year. It was a really, really good Ohio State team. Uh, he was, you know, briefly in the NFL, didn't play long. Uh, Baltimore Ravens in the NFL. But at the college level, uh, Troy Smith was fantastic, especially in 2006 when he was the Heisman Trophy winner. Eddie George, an Ohio State Heisman Trophy winner as well. Uh, a lot of good ones for the Buckeyes. Of course, the only guy ever to win uh, two Heisman Trophy winners, Archie Griffin, also Ohio State. So iconic franchise, iconic college program, but could not beat Mizzou and Brady Cook this year, Robbie. No, they The Cotton didn't. Bowl MVP. Shout out Brady Cook. I know Marvin Harrison Jr. didn't play in that game. I know their quarterback transferred, but man, as a Mizzou fan, that Ohio State victory in the Cotton Bowl, that was awesome, Robbie. Absolutely awesome. Box 31 is next in the college. 31 out of... 35. Alrighty. Ooh. Now, this guy, was he a bust in the NFL? He was, Robbie, but at the college level, he was awesome. It's the Ryan Leaf a full size helmet. This is Washington State. That's the Pac 12. Giselle Luster, you've got Ryan Leaf. Now, let's not forget, Robbie, a lot of folks thought he should have gone number one overall over Peyton Manning. Uh, speaks to the talent he had. He went to the wrong franchise, you know, had some drug issues, some alcohol issues, uh, but no doubt a very talented quarterback. Uh, number two overall pick in 98, and that is after he was a uh, first-team All-American in 97, uh, the Pac-10 back, back at the time, Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, he had 3,968 passing yards and 34 touchdowns in 1997. Wow. I've actually personally met this guy. He's a motivational speaker now, Robbie, and he's really good at it. He's got his life back together. Uh, that's a nice filler hit. A great college player. I mean, this is what the college series is all about, Robbie. You can be a bust in the NFL, but you were a great college player. And he definitely was fantastic. So congrats, Gisella. Going Gisella. to jerseys. Want to go in the jerseys. Gisella Luster, Ryan Leaf. Ryan yes, Leaf. sir. Nice. I know he gets discussed with Jamarcus Russell as one of the biggest uh, draft busts. Imagine if the Colts had taken Ryan Leaf and the Chargers get Peyton Manning. I mean, I think Peyton Manning would have been great no matter what, but does he get five MVPs? Does Ryan Leaf maybe have a good career? You never know, Robbie. A situation does matter sometimes. Could have been a very, very different situation for him with the Colts. All right, Diamond Double is sold out. Uh, we got Chris, Steven, Kyle, and Gisela. Diamond Double number four. Russell's the bigger bus, says. Uh, Dark Wolf 90. Yeah, I mean, they're... They're probably the two biggest, but you, you can't go wrong with either guy if we're talking about biggest bust. I guess because Leaf was the second pick. Russell was the first pick. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. Although Ryan Leaf, I think, was a better college player than Jamarcus Russell. So uh, it could be a good debate for either option. So Chris, Steven, Kyle, and Gisela. We got boxes 7, 8, 9, 11, and 29 left, Robbie, in the Diamonds. Otherwise, how's that Diamond, Diamond Single has two spots to go, Robbie. Are these guys waiting to see if the Steve Young comes out? That must be the case. Let's get that Diamond Single knocked out. The Jersey Single is gone as well, so jerseys are on deck here. So I'll give these guys about... 
30 seconds here, Robbie. If I don't have a number, in the next 30 seconds, we are letting the wheel pick. Once the wheel goes up, Robbie, all box numbers are final. Good job, Chris. We do have numbers. He wants 9 and 11, Robbie. 9 and 11. Thank you so much, Chris. 40% chance this break will feature Steve Young, Robbie. There's also a 60% chance it won't. It won't? We'll see. Say it ain't so. There is a Bo Jackson still left, by the way, so that, that one's also worth chasing. All right, nine clicks. Good luck, guys. Got six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh-oh. Gisela. Uh, Gisela's got the NFC West, the Niner fan, and the Steve Young spot. I'll take Moon. Good evening, gentlemen. What's up, Al? What's going on, Al G? Uh, Kyle's got the NFC North. Chris, the NFC South. Gisela, NFC East, NFC West. Steven, AFC North. Chris, AFC South. Steven, AFC East. And Kyle's got the AFC West. So Kyle's got the Bo Jackson spot, Robbie. 9 and 11, sir. You got it. You got it, boss. Jerseys are next. The love hurts. And then diamond single, still two to go. I'll drop that link in as well, guys. 9-11. We got the Jim McMahon and Dante Culpepper boxes. A couple of NFC North quarterbacks. Surprised no one called number eight for Steve Young. Number eight in box eight, yeah. Robbie. And we'll see. Really shocked. Number nine. Thank you, sir. Nine first. Eleven. Eleven to follow here. All right. What do we got in here? Ooh. This is just a filler, Robbie. No. I, I can't believe this is just a filler. Uh, we got one of the Record-breaking running backs, Hall of Fame 99 inscription, the Ram Authentic Eric Dickerson. Wow. Uh, 2,105 rushing yards. That is still the single-season rushing record. Gisela Luster, NFC West. You've got Eric Dickerson. How about that? Wow. Ninth all-time in rushing yards, most in a single season. Uh, top 10 back of all time, no doubt about it, Eric Dickerson. So, Robbie, that means that there's four boxes left. That means I cannot pull Steve Young and Bo Jackson both in this next break, which means there's going to be at least one headliner left, if not two. How is that just a filler should be a headliner? It's pretty simple. This is the Diamond Helmets. Uh, it's a 30-box series, Robbie, and all 30 boxes are headliners. Uh, this is not like the jerseys. For example... Eric Dickerson is a headliner in the jerseys. The names are so big in the diamond helmets that Eric Dickerson is just a filler hit. No, no. Uh, but this is why I always tell the guys, Robbie, if we're talking diamond helmets, don't even get worked up about the graphic. The series is loaded no matter what. And the Ram Authentic is one of the best in the business. Looks very clean. Even the standard helmet, fantastic here on Eric Dickerson. So I'll give you this one, Robbie. And Gisela, by the way, she could double up with the Steve Young. And that would be quite the break for Miss Luster. Miss Luster. Right? There is a Bo Jackson still out there. Kyle Hummel looking for Bo Jackson in the AFC West here. What do we got here, Robbie? Is it time for Steve Young? Is it time for Bo Jackson? Ready to go. No. Ooh, it's Iconic Lid. One of the best standard authentics in the business. Bo knows. Bo Jackson. Let's go, Kyle Hummel. Awesome hit. One of the best running backs. 
one of the best athletes to ever play, pro bowler in the NFL, all-star in the MLB, Bo Nose, Kyle Hummel, uh, very nice, authentic, uh, dual sports superstar. A lot of folks would obviously say had he not gotten injured, he could have been a Hall of Famer in the NFL and the MLB. Oh, yes. Uh, freak of nature as an athlete. A beautiful lid, Kyle Hummel. Uh, you've got Bo Jackson. So three boxes left, Robbie. Steve Young, still out there. Now's when that's going to fill up pretty fast, right? Oh, yeah. Now that single's going to go real fast. Uh, imagine being a guy that was waiting... And you don't get in the single in enough time now, Robbie. Uh, that single is actually sold out. And the double only has six spots to go, guys. Two and three chance Steve Young is in the double. One and three chance he's in the single. And we'll have some fresh diamonds in the room, Robbie. I guess now we we'll might as well drop that new series for the guys tonight. Once we clear out the last couple boxes here. Beautiful stuff. You gotta love those diamonds, man. That's the series to play. All right, so we have the diamond. Actually, we have a jersey break before the diamonds, Robbie. Yes. Oh, hold on a second now. We have a yeah, jersey pump break. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. We do go in the order they fill. So jersey is actually next. Jersey single number two. Uh, go ahead and drop me a box number. We got Nicholas, Gabriel, Adam, Al, Kyle, Jody, and Apollo. Love Hurts, number two. And the diamond double, for good measure, Robbie, only two to go. Chris Abermans to close out that single diamond. Chris Abermans? 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 I think it's Abermans, but Abermans. either way. The double, only two to go, Robbie. So that's going to go any second now. We'll have fresh diamonds in the room with fresh headliners. Coming up. Uh, Al wants box 10. Thank you, Al. 10 works. 10 going off the ticker in the jerseys here. All right. I'll get that box 10 for you in a minute here. All right. Thank you, Robbie. And we'll be seeing Steve Young here very, very shortly, Robbie. Whether the single or the double, we'll see Steve Young in the next 10 minutes here in the room, which is just the way we like it, right? Five, oh, six, yeah. seven, eight, and nine clicks. All right, Kyle Hummo up top. You've got the NFC North. NFC South is Nicholas Hurdle. Adam Christensen, NFC East. Jody Grider, NFC West. Al Gona, AFC North. Apollo St. Clair, AFC South. Kyle Hummo, AFC East. And Gabriel Cook in the AFC West. Box 10 here in the jersey break. We got ourselves an awesome running back, more than 10,000 career rushing yards, multi-time pro bowler, former Super Bowl champion. We've had him on the Niners. We've had him on the Seahawks. This right here, though, Robbie, a Ricky Waters Eagles jersey. Wow. So that is JSA certified Adam Christensen, the Eagles spot in the NFC East. Uh, you've got the Ricky Waters jersey. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done, Adam. Run, Ricky, run, Ricky Waters right here. Nice hit, says uh, Dark Wolf. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. Adam Christensen. He says, sweet, thank you. You're welcome, Adam. Wasn't Adam a Niner fan? He got a Niner player, sort of, right? What was Adam's squad? I'm trying to remember what team Adam liked, Robbie. Adam. Adam Christensen, new guy. Oh. He'll, he'll let me know here in a second. Bills? No. I don't know why I thought it was the Niners, but I could be wrong. We, I got Steve Young on my mind. He says, yep, Niners. Okay. okay. So, we, so this guy was actually a former Niner, Ricky Waters. This is him on the Eagles, though. He actually was teammates with Steve Young in that Super Bowl win over the Chargers. I uh, had three touchdowns in that game, Robbie. Two receiving touchdowns from Steve Young. How's that for a transition, right? So we'll put the Ricky Waters away here. One to go in that double box.
diamonds. One to go. That will put us at the last one. Who wants to close it out? That's it, Robbie. That's the last one in the series, yes. Mr. Lopez. That is the last one in the series, and I got Mr. Maybe, yep, I guess Steven. It's yep. sold out. Steven is the last guy to close out the diamonds. So way to go, everybody, to close out those diamonds. As soon as we are done with that, we'll go ahead and get those new diamonds in the room All right. for you folks to get to. Uh, that's going to be fun. The new diamonds, I think we were going to do the... Not the Gunslinger, the no. other one, right, Robbie? Two-minute warning. Two-minute oh, warning is two what we'll do drill. next. Two-minute drill? Two-minute drill. All right. Oop, I almost dropped the rookie waters. All right, diamond single coming up. There's a one in three chance we have the Steve Young in here. One in three chance, guys. Diamond single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number. We got Gisela, we got Troy, we got Craig, we got Apollo, Jacob, and Chris. This will be the last break. I asked for numbers in the diamonds because that last double will be the two numbers left over. So we have seven, eight, and 29 in the diamonds. 7, 8, and 29. Which one would you guys like here? I'll give you about 30 seconds. Obviously, Robbie, in the middle of a big chase, I prefer to let them pick the numbers, right? Yes. So that's hopefully you guys have them. Chris wants 7. Thank you, Chris. 7 going off the ticker and the diamonds. All right, good luck, folks. Diamond single. And then we are followed by the diamond double, and the diamonds are gone. So one in three chance at Steve Young here. NFC West could be an incredible spot, especially in the single box, Robbie. 90 bucks for a Steve Young authentic. Wouldn't that be nice? Box seven in a single. We got five, six, seven, eight, and nine clicks. It's Gisela. Niner fan. If it's the Steve Young, Gisela's got it. One in three chance here, Gisela. NFC North is Jacob. NFC South is Chris. NFC East is Craig. Gisela's got the NFC West. Apollo's got the AFC North. Troy's got the AFC South. Apollo AFC East. And Troy, you're in the AFC West. Is this the Steve Young box? Gisela sure hopes so. Everybody else hopes it's not, Robbie. We got ourselves an authentic here. Ooh, this is flashy. Uh, we got Fran Tarkenton, former league MVP, Hall of Fame quarterback, Hall of Fame 86 inscription. Uh, that's the flash authentic Jacob Hemingway. Uh, not the Steve Young, Robbie. So Steve Young will be in the last break. The Rip Speed Flex. That is coming up next. Uh, beautiful stuff there, Fran Tarkenton. Uh, nice flash, Jacob. So Fran was a nine-time Pro Bowler MVP in 75, Robbie. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks ever. Uh, what a filler that is, by the way. Fran Tarkenton. Eric Dickerson. Flash Authentic. These are filler hits in here. Yeah. Tarkenton and Dickerson. Only the diamonds, man. Only the diamonds. Uh, Sean says Steve is in 29. All right. 50% chance that's true. 50% chance it's not. We'll find out here shortly together in the last two diamond boxes. Good get there, Jacob, on the Fran Tarkenton. I think so, too, Sean, says Mr. Powers. All right, we'll see. I mean, 50% chance that's right, guys. Chris says, I feel for Gisela. Kept getting the right spot, and the helmet won't show up. Marino did it to me, too. But you got it eventually, Chris. And it is true. Gisela got a bad beat there. Uh, I will say this. Everyone always says Gisela always wins. Well, she doesn't win every time. That is living proof. Everyone's got the big nights. They've got the cold nights. It does go back and forth. Is she in the last one? Oh, she's not in the last one, actually. 
So Chris Taft, William McPherson, Chris Taft, Chris Cornwell, David Jackson, Christopher Ripka, and Steven Lenhart. So the last diamond double box coming up. Marinos are nice, no doubt about that. All right, let's get you guys set up here. Nine clicks on the way. Who's getting that NFC West spot here? Got five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's Chris Cornwell. Chris, I believe you just got a Steve Young brother. Uh, Chris Cornwell, ironically a Cowboy fan, uh, getting a Niner legend. Uh, that big rivalry in the 90s back then. We got William McPherson in the NFC North. David Jackson, NFC South. Chris Taft, NFC East. Chris Cornwall in the NFC West. Stephen Lenhart, AFC North. Christopher Ripka, AFC South. Chris Taft, AFC East. And David Jackson, AFC West. Now I'm Diamond Double coming up. Is number eight in box eight here. Steve Young. Alright, I think these guys might be right uh, about what number he's going to be in. Oh my god! How about this, though? How about this, Chris Cornwell? Uh, you're going to get two wins out of the NFC West. Now, uh, we got the Hall of Fame wide receiver, Hall of Fame 95. Maybe the most underrated receiver of all time, Steve Largent, Lunar Authentic, Mo Creek Sports Certified. He says, oh yeah, what up, Chris? Uh, Steve Largent tied for 10th all time in receiving touchdowns. Uh, when he played, though, it was the 70s and the 80s, all the other guys ahead of him. Played in the 90s, played in the 2000s. One of the best wideouts ever, Jim Zorn to Steve Largent. All day Seattle. Uh, nice filler hit there for Chris Cornwell. So, Chris had one spot in that break. Chris says, grew up watching them, Steve Largent. So, for one spot, 180 bucks, he gets a Steve Largent Lunar Authentic. Then he gets a Steve Young Rip Speed Flex. Talk about money well spent. Uh, nice hits, Chris says, Sean Bates. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, he was not good enough to be a top six receiver for the Oilers. The Oilers coaches said, Steve Largent, you're not good enough to make the roster. They let him go, and the Oilers picked him up, or the Seahawks picked him up, picked him up, excuse me, and the rest is history with Steve Largent. So we got a Steve Young, we got a Steve Largent. Attack of the Steves here in this last break. So let's put this bad boy away here. And then new diamonds, guys. Let me see if Robbie put them up already, or if he's going to put them up when we're done here. I'm guessing he's bringing them in from the other room. Yeah, new diamonds are not yet up, but they will be here momentarily, guys. Uh, that new series. I would recommend getting in that chase for the Josh Allen in the college next. Uh, with only eight boxes left. All right, this should be the Steve Young. He was elusive, a great runner back in the day too, but let's double check here. Box 29 coming up. 29 out of 30. It does feel extra heavy, let's be honest. Uh, does feel extra heavy here. I feel the visor already. Ooh, this slit is even better in person, man. Even better in person. We got the Steve Young ripped Speed Flex Authentic. The best lefty quarterback of all time. Obviously a Hall of Fame quarterback. We got the silver ripping into the Niner Gold. Looks beautiful. Number eight on the back, it's got the visor. It's what the pros wear. Chris Cornwall, how about some headliner fire on your Steve Young Authentic? Love this hit, man. One of the most underrated quarterbacks of all time, Steve Young. This dude was the real deal. I mean, more touchdown passes to uh, Jerry Rice than even Joe Montana had. 
Uh, so seven Pro Bowls, six times of the league in pass rating, five times in completion percentage, four times in passing touchdowns, two MVPs, a Super Bowl MVP, in my opinion, a top 10 quarterback of all time. And again, a lot of these custom speed flexes go for more than a grand online. Uh, Chris got it for 190 bucks, and he gets a Steve Largent as well. That is incredible right there. Uh, Chris got two cowboy helmets. If you're interested in a trade, worth a shot, says Apollo. Uh, way nice, says Chris. Well, way nice indeed, brother. On the Steve Young Rip Speed Flex. Incredible way to end this awesome diamond series. There we go, Chris. So let me get that written up. Then I'll hit you guys with the top to bottom rundown. Then we'll see what we're doing next. I know Robbie will get those new diamonds posted for you guys uh, here real quick, hopefully. Uh, nice hit, Chris, uh, says William. Keeping this one, says Chris. Absolutely, I would as well, man. That's a beautiful PC item uh, on the Steve Young. Absolutely beautiful uh, item that would be awesome to display, even if you're a Cowboy fan. You got to appreciate this helmet, and you got to appreciate this quarterback, the great Steve Young. All right, little Steve double up, Chris Cornwell. One spot, two Hall of Famers, uh, including a rip speed flex. Not too shabby in the NFC West. All right, refreshing the break page, guys. I'll hit you with a top to bottom rundown of what we got going on and see what else you guys may want to do tonight. So the vault... Uh, you want to put those new diamonds up, Robbie? I know, it's sick. Wow. Uh, new That's diamonds. Crazy. Yeah. For these guys. I got it right now. Perfect. Yeah, this helmet is sick. It's nice. It wow. is very nice. Uh, all right, so we got eight to go in the, in this vault double box. Uh, we did pull the headliners, Robbie, but we do have a vault key as well. Uh, we got five to go in the college. This is probably... A no-brainer chase here next. Uh, eight boxes left in the college. We still got three photoed authentic headliners. Jerome Bettis on that Notre Dame Irish full-size authentic. Uh, we still have uh, also available the Michael Irvin full-size authentic. A good get for Cowboy fans, for Miami Hurricane fans. Of course, a lot of folks remember the Catholic versus the Convicts. That famous 30 for 30 uh, Miami versus Notre Dame. Uh, the two of the most iconic players of those schools, uh, Michael Orvin for Miami, Jerome Bettis for the Steelers. A heck, heck, of, a, a heck of a hit, says Omar. Uh, that lit his fire. Could not agree more, Omar. And then let's be honest, probably the biggest helmet left in the college is actually Josh Allen. Uh, he had more total touchdowns than any quarterback last season. If you add up the postseason and the regular season, uh, he is, in my opinion, the second best quarterback in the league behind Patrick Mahomes, a very expensive autograph, one that's gonna be worth even more as we go. Josh Allen, Jerome Bettis, those two lids combined together worth more than $1,000 easily. You can get them for less than 200 bucks in that double box in the red shirt, full-size college uh, helmet series. So three and eight chance at a headliner in the college. Uh, we got the vault single, six spots to go again. Uh, three boxes left. We do have a vault key with the bonus gift card left. Six to go in the college single. We got four to go in the one and four single and the one and four double. Uh, this is uh, the last night of this one and four series. Seven boxes left. We have, uh, you know, one of the best centers ever, one of the best 15 players, in my opinion, in basketball history, Hakeem Olajuwon on that autographed basketball. We do have another great defensive player, another all-time great, Gary Payton still left. Uh, those are our two headliners left with seven boxes left. Like the diamonds, like the vault, there's always fun, awesome mystery items in the one and four. Uh, five to go in the mini helmets, the ring chasing double box. We are down to nine minis left. TJ Hawkinson, one of the best tight ends in football, Arl Campbell, Hall of Fame running back. We got Roger Craig, another great running back. And then, speaking of great running backs, Chris Johnson, CJ2K, 4-9 chance at a headliner. Uh, we got the jerseys. Seven to go in the Love Hurts jerseys. 
Uh, we still got A.J. Green left. We have Antonio Gates. Uh, most touchdowns ever for a tight end. Uh, Eric Dickerson, Brian Urlacher, and then we have a bunch of great secondary headliners left. Uh, that includes Robert Mathis, Joe Theismann, and Drew Bledsoe. So looking at the jerseys, 16 jerseys left. We got four photoed headliners plus three secondary, seven and 16 chance in the jerseys. We do have some mystery boxes up. Uh, that includes our jersey series, the ones I just went over. You can buy this on the mystery box page. You buy that, you got a guaranteed win. And you do pay $174.99 for that. Uh, the rep helmets, bunch of big names left. Aiden Hutchinson, Debo Samuel, Emmett Smith, Marshall Falk, Curtis Martin, Devontae Adams, Jamal Charles. Uh, you get a rep personal. It is $344.99 on that one. We do have the minis up as personals as well, guys. Uh, like I just went over the names. Uh, Hawkinson, Campbell, and Craig still left in the minis. So, no, no. Robbie literally is about to make that active, right? No. No? Hold on, give me one second. All right, so Robbie will have those diamonds here in a second. We'll look at that new diamond series together. In the meantime, I would say the best bet for a break, to me, has to be the college. I mean, eight boxes left, guys. Three photo authentic headliners, Bettis, Allen, and Irvin. This one makes sense to knock out tonight. It is 926. I want to give you guys until 940, no matter what. We'll revisit the break page at 940. I do want to let these new diamonds breathe for a second. Robbie's making them active. I'll give you guys until 940. Whatever is full by 940 will break if we're one or two spots away. I'll give you guys a little bit more time. If nothing else fills up by 940, we'll probably hop off uh, then. So let's see right, here. They're active. They're active? Yes. All right, so we have the double. And do you have the single too? Yep, they're up. Both of them are up. All right, perfect. So probably this is just... got to fresh. Yeah, there it is. I see it. All right, so here's the new diamonds. This is out of... Also out of 30, right? Out of 30. 30 boxes in here. Uh, we got the Tyree Kill Lunar Authentic, the fastest receiver in the game. Uh, hey, it's another Steve Young. This is the uh, gold chrome Steve Young with the visor, the six-speed flex. Absolutely love this Steve Young helmet. Uh, then we got the Joe Burrow. Oh, my God. Uh, this is... I know I just called Josh Allen the second best quarterback in the league, Robbie. I did that because I'm not 100% sure Burrow's going to be healthy. If Burrow's 100% healthy, I put Josh Allen number three. I would put Burrow number two. Uh, this is the only guy that's beaten Mahomes in the playoffs, along with Tom Brady. Uh, fantastic quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner, played in the Super Bowl, uh, one of the best in the game, a guy we don't often get in the break room. And would you look at who's also out there, Robbie? We have his number one receiver, Jamar Chase, and his former college teammate, Justin Jefferson. Two of the best young receivers in the league, Chase and Jefferson, still out there uh, in this new Diamond Series. An LSU fan's dream break there, says uh, Mr. Powers. Yes, sir. We got Burrow, we got Chase, we got Jefferson, part of probably the best college football team of all time, Robbie, uh, undefeated LSU team. Burrow set the touchdown record of 60 touchdown passes. Uh, that's an awesome break. We got four Eagle quarterbacks, the Eagle quarterback quad, Randall Cunningham, Mike Vick, Ron Jaworski, and Donovan McNabb. We got Deion Sanders on the Niners. Not only is this a great break for Bengal fans, LSU fans, how about for 49er fans? I mean, another Steve Young. And then we have Deion Sanders, who won his Defensive Player of the Year as a 49er. Michael Irvin on that sick Cowboy Authentic. We got, the, in my opinion, the GOAT running back Barry Sanders on that uh, new salute to service. And then, of course, NFL's all-time leading rusher, Emmett Smith. Uh, you can double up with Smith and the Eagle four quarterback quad. Or the Michael Orvin as well in the NFC East. And you can double up with Steve Young and Deion Sanders in the NFC West. You can double up with Burrow and Chase in the AFC North. 
Uh, secondary headliners in here, Andre Johnson, Eddie George, Marshall Falk, and Joe Green. So Andre Johnson, Eddie George, AFC South hits. You can double up with those guys as well. Joe Green could double up with the Burrow and the Chase. Marshall Falk. I will ask our production team whether that's a Ram or a Colt. Either way, you can pair the Falk with the Young or Sanders, or you can pair him with the Johnson or Eddie George in that new Diamond Series. So, guys, get in there if you want to break some more full-size authentic lids. Uh, we got one spot taken in the single, Robbie. Yes, we did. And then we're still four to go in this college. So, yes. 10 minutes. We'll revisit, revisit this in 10 minutes. If this college break is like one or two to go, I'll give them a little bit more time. If the diamonds are like three or four to go, I'll give them a little bit more time. If we're still looking at seven, we're looking at eight spots to go, we'll call it a show here at 940. Ten minute warning, guys, to get the spots in. Meanwhile, I guess let's ask the chat while we wait. Uh, what is... Oh, hold on, Robbie. Real quick. I think... Let me refresh here. I wonder if we had two separate two-minute warnings because for some reason the double box photo was different than the single box photo. And I think the single box is the one we want. I know sometimes you rename the same ones twice. So Robbie will get that fixed, Josh. Just to clarify, Josh, uh, the, the one that... Box? So you look at, you have the wrong photo for the double oh, box. Hold on, hold on. So the name it is not there. That was an old two minute warning. Okay. So Robbie will get that fixed. This is the one that we got up. Just to clarify, guys, this is the one that's happening. We'll get that other photo updated. Uh, this is the current two minute warning diamond helmets. Although I know the Jet fan got excited for uh, that one, of course. So, two minute warning diamond helmets. Where did that one go? You could just download it from the one that you have up, I guess, Robbie, right? So, who wants this awesome series here, guys? This is one I would not want to miss out on, right? So, the, the single box is good, right? Correct. You guys just got it the right photo in the double box. So, who's making it happen? And are there any Josh Allen fans, Robbie? And we do have four to go in that college sure double box. So what, what lid do you guys most want to see in here? Do you guys want to see the Steve Young the most? Maybe Joe Burrow, a guy we don't get often in the break room. There is four autographs for the Eagles. Uh, honestly, for me, I think it has to be Steve Young because that helmet is out of pocket, Robbie. But number two for me is the Joe Burrow. We don't get Joe Burrow often in the break room. That is my number two hit in this series. Uh, this one's tough to top, though. Look at that thing. Uh, the gold 49er lid, Steve Young. Uh, that thing is nuts. Uh, Nick says, JJ the Jet, Justin Jefferson. Yeah, JJ Jetta is obviously, no doubt, a great one as well. Lunar Authentic, Justin Jefferson. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I always say if I'm starting a team and I want to draft a receiver... Uh, I'm taking Justin Jefferson first. And number two, I'm taking either Jamar Chase or C.D. Lamb. Oh, that's right. You got it, Robbie? No, I was wondering why I didn't. I couldn't find because I got to duplicate the, 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 that one. Yeah, I got to duplicate it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So, Robbie will get that double up here why shortly. I couldn't find the double box. Okay. All right, so you probably searched for an old double. You got to duplicate yeah, it yeah, that's and make it double. Yep. So uh, we'll have that double box up here shortly, guys, in case you want to get in. Uh, but up to you guys what else we do tonight. I guess the other question is, what's the hit of the night tonight? Is it the Steve Young Rip Speed Flex? Or is it the Bo Jackson Hydro Speed Flex? Because... My number three hit tonight is going to be the Tony Gonzalez. 
I'll probably go four as the Warren Sapp slate. I just don't see Tony Gonzalez in the break room. I, it, it's tough to say uh, between these two. I mean, we have a rip flex Steve Young with the visor. Uh, we do have the Hydro Flex Bo Jackson with all sorts of military stickers in the back as well. Um, it's tough. I only lean Steve Young because I love Steve Young. I love Bo Jackson too, Robbie, uh, but it's a quarterback. It's a lefty quarterback. Uh, I like that one more personally. Nick says Bo because the military style looks clean. All right, Bo knows. I think they both look, to me, about equally good personally. I just happen to like Steve Young a little bit more than Bo Jackson. Uh, but obviously cannot go wrong with either guy. You got it, Robbie? Yeah. I know. I, I talked to myself. I'm You're sorry. good. 90, 90. So, Dark Wolf calls it a tie. Well, I know me and Robbie are tied because I went Steve Young and he went Bo Jackson. But let's be honest, we're kind of splitting hairs on both of these, right? I mean, two icons of the game, uh, most definitely splitting hairs here for which one's better. So it looks like that double was up, Robbie, right? Yes. All right, guys, that double box is up again. This is that fresh series, all the headliners out there. Uh, just to clarify, only 30 boxes, and we got 10 photoed headliners. One in three chance at a photoed headliner, plus we got four secondary headliners. So that would make it a 14 in 30 chance, almost 50% on the headliner in the diamonds. Ooh, J.R. Emery says, gotta be Bo. Steve Young is a backup to Montana, and, and San Fran headliner should be Montana or Purdy in my eyes. Steve Young, he might have been a backup to Montana. He's got two league MVPs, uh, which is, I believe, the same as Joe Montana. Led the league in passer rating six times, four times in passing touchdowns. I mean, both guys are great, but my goodness. Steve Young is a top 10 quarterback of all time, Rob. He's not Joe Montana's backup. He's the guy that followed him and followed him well. Yes. Just to clarify, Steve Young has a better career passer rating than Joe Montana. Uh, he has less touchdowns because he played less. But, I mean, both guys are incredible quarterbacks. I, I think Montana is marginally better. But, man, Steve Young was great as well. Uh, so... Both are really good lids, says Omar, says Steve Young. Obviously, Omar is a Niner fan. And to be honest with you, we get Joe Montana more often than Steve Young in our break room, Robbie. We get both guys, but Joe Montana is more common in our break room than Steve Young. So, I'll give you guys a couple more minutes here. Otherwise, we'll call it a night. Very few teams can rebound after swapping quarterbacks. And the Niners did that, no doubt about it. I know I said this earlier tonight, Robbie, but NFL career passer rating leaders. I guess if we're going to call Steve Young a backup to Montana, Aaron Rodgers was a backup to Brett Favre. So this is Steve Young, 96.8 career passer rating. All the guys ahead of him played in the 2000s, Robbie. He was the only guy that was top 15 all time in passer rating. That played in the 80s and 90s, Mr. Steve Young. So, you cannot go wrong with Steve Young. The best lefty quarterback, one of the best dual sport athletes, Bo Jackson. We got one of the best defensive tackles on the slate helmet, Warren Sapp. Uh, we got the Tony Gonzalez Lunar Authentic as well. A lot of good hits tonight. The uh, AJ Brown flash. We got the Tony Gonzalez Lunar. You guys did work. Yes, they did. Yeah, and, and that is regular season passer rating. Just to clarify, passer rating, a little bit different metric than QBR. Uh, but yes, Brady is 11th on that list uh, for passer rating all time. 
Robbie still four to go on the college. Still only one spot bought on that new diamond. So I think we might call it a show here at 940. Uh, so really busy night up until about 910. Uh, the last 30 minutes, only two orders here. The last one coming in 12 minutes ago from Adam. So is there anyone out there that wants to buy some break spots? Is there anybody out there? Or are you guys done for the night tonight? Let me know, folks. Let us know. Let us know. I'll give them just a couple more minutes just in case, Robbie. Otherwise, we'll hop off here. Yeah. Uh, great night. A lot of awesome hits. Yes. I kind of think we're going to do the two flexes for the hit video. That's I funny. know the Sap Slate is cool. The Gonzalez is cool. But these two are a little bit extra cool. I think we can we can throw that one in there. We did, a couple, we did like two or three slates we last did? week. Yeah. But it was at Warren Sapp, though. The beast. It is, he is a beast. The so. quarterback killer. I like these. The QB killer inscription. The QB killer. Uh, Bob says, in case you're interested, the Rangers won 4-0 over Ottawa to clinch the President's Trophy for the best record in the NHL. Now the playoffs. Let's go Rangers, says Bob. There we go, Bob. Hey, Bobby! I know the Bruins had the best record ever last year and lost in the first round. Uh, so, obviously, you know, hockey's kind of like baseball. The best yep. team doesn't always win. But good job, Rangers, for Bob Boulay. For Bobby. Great night, says Dark Wolf. Great night for sure, says Chris. For you especially with that Steve Young lid. So, sounds like these guys are just about done for the night, Robbie. I think so. Uh, love that, Steve Young, says Brandon. Yes, sir. Uh, and the one, by the way, that we have up in the next series, Robbie, I think it's even better, personally. That's just my personal preference. So, uh, nicely done, Rangers, says Dark Wolf. The Sharks are his team. I think the Sharks were the only team with the worst record than the Blackhawks this year, Robbie. Blackhawks, the second worst record in the league. The Sharks, the worst in the NHL. Uh, got NBA playoffs and NHL playoffs this weekend. Uh, great time to be a sports fan. We got breaks every single day here. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock Central Time. Uh, I think, Robbie, that's going to do it for us for tonight. Any that's final it? thoughts from you? Hey, you guys are doing an awesome job at closing out those diamonds. Look at Right. We got the two flexes out of this. We got the slate. I mean, this is a wonderful night. Absolutely. It was a manic Monday. Manic Monday. A lot of awesome hits. That Bo Jackson. Jeesh. Uh, Chris says it'll go with Calvin Johnson. I got on the 3 o'clock show, right? There I you got go. that Megatron Speed Flex with the visor. Uh, Bob says nothing better than playoff hockey. Nothing. Of course. That's that is true. A, I can't wait. That is a personal preference. I definitely like World Cup soccer for me, Robbie. Who are you taking, Bobby, as your playoff bracket? Uh, I'm going to take, personally, the Dallas Stars. They had a great Ooh, year. Dallas Stars, Dallas Stars is my pick. Against the Rangers for the Stanley Cup? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Uh, but definitely hockey playoffs are great. Yes, I can't wait. All, to all my playoffs bracket. are great. Your hockey bracket. Yeah, I'm going to do a it. hockey and the uh, NBA bracket. Okay. Sure. It'll be fun. Not uh, sure yet. Bob is not sure yet. Ooh. Okay. I, I mean, I, I figure he's going to probably take the Rangers, but. Maybe. You maybe. never know. I, I just, I, I'm just going to pick against the Rangers just to poke just, fun at Bob. Just poke fun at Bob. Just don't poke, poke the bear. Bob, right? You don't want to poke the bear. All right? <laughs> uh, that'll be fun as well. Uh, Chris also likes the Stars, right? Dallas Ooh, Stars, okay. baby. It's a, it's it a good, e be, it's it's good year tough. for Dallas this year. So, uh, J.R. Emery says Bruins all the way, hands down. There you go. So, everybody's making their picks. That'll be a lot of fun to track. Uh, over the weekend. So, Robbie, that'll do it for us tonight. All right. Thank you, Robbie, for co-hosting, producing, doing a great job. Okay. As always, thank you so much to the customers for watching, for chatting, for buying. Without you guys, the show is not possible. They make the show possible. Yes. They're awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I'm back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Time. You're back on Thursday, Thursday, Thursday at noon. Yep. Uh, so we're on here 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time every single day. You know, rain, snow, solar eclipse. We're here every day, baby. Every day. 
So have a good night, fellas. Says Casper, Casper, have a night. Good one. Have a good one. You too, Casper. Same goes for everyone else. We'll see you guys right here in the break room tomorrow. Have a great night.